Okay, so welcome everyone. We have uh, Astral on Scribe Duty and Onvir as previous scribe. Do you want to give us a quick recap? Yep, it's a very quick recap. I didn't write much. <laughs> uh, while we continue to search all the rooms, we found two doors that were barred and tied shut. Rampty went to see what was behind them, and both had many uh, Shasuva locked away. We decided to leave them for now and went into another room and found some very weakened gnolls who we got to the rest of the gnolls we saved while deciding what to do about one of the rooms, the Shusuva started attacking the door. So we got ready to fight, I banished one, and the other two in the room went down without too much trouble. And while searching in the room, we found a special rod for Otto to use, and we're planning our next move. I didn't write it down, but I, I also agreed that when I could, I'd send Astral back home. Alright, thank you for that. Uh, so it is... The... Uh, 15th of spring, 9 a.m., when we're picking the story back up. A few hours after your rest. Uh, the group is in this room. The Shusuva have been defeated. What do you all want to do? Do we feel confident enough to deal with the other room? or? Uh, did you collect essence from the Shusuva? I think you did, right? Yeah, we did. 120 yeah, gold in the chat there. Since they don't actually leave behind a corpse, there's no reason to keep them there. So, where would we like to go? Um, I'm okay with working on the other room if we think we feel up to it, but I don't know how... Let's see, since we're down, what, Alduin and Uvlo, right? Uh, Uvlo will tap his chin and say, well, the plan was to get underneath this place, to use the caves uh, to explore further into cultist territory. Is that correct? Yeah. That is true, but I would hate, I mean, we already saw these ones finally decide to attack this door and break it down. I would hate for the to run in for the nulls. Yes, as well, the... I believe at least some of the areas are sealed uh, oh, there, with... The some of the areas are sealed with uh, that force wall that's up, and we have the amulets to unseal them, so at least that will prevent some of our enemies from coming in through the stairwell. I believe our biggest issue is that demon cave, where those, uh, those goat beasts came from, since that's not oh, sealed yeah. off. But otherwise, I, I think we're okay down here, unless the uh, unless the denizens of the Maw figure out a way in. So we might have some time, peace and quiet, but uh, lingering could be dangerous. That's my opinion, anyway. I mean, we were potentially talking about staying, like, potentially waiting here a couple of days when we need to finish that enchantment. Was that on the table still? I can't remember if we had just decided no, screw that. Uh, it's still on the table. I don't think anyone disrupted it to get the oh, no, uh, I mean, like, components. I, I meant that more as a matter of speech. Like, was that something we were oh. still going to do? Uh. I, th uh, I think we were definitely thinking of at least uh, doing it once, uh, coming back and doing it maybe because it takes two work days. I th think you, I think to do it. Yes, well, uh, I... from my knowledge of enchanting, that would be sixteen hours over two days. Uval says. I'm Something down for... only be enchanted, like by like. If two people were working on it, could we just do it in a 16-hour span, or like... Because I know one person... You can only do, like, one day's work, or whatever, per person. But, like, if two people were doing it... 
Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure what the downtime I, rules say about that. I can try to Because I'm pretty sure it. that's how it works. I'm pretty sure each person, like, divides it. Oh, like, people, like, doing shifts? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how it works. There might be, like, an upper limit to, like, how much happens in a day, but I'm pretty sure you can reduce the time if, um, you get mul multiple people. I'm down for spending the time to complete that that magic item if Onyx feels up to the task, um, or if, if someone else is able to work with him on it. Um, I think that that's worth the downtime to gain another uh, magic weapon for one of our uh, frontliners or, or you know someone in the party. Um, I mean, most uh, most we... people in our party are magically inclined. I imagine they could help in some way. Oh, between Onyx, Uvalo, and I, we probably could. We um, we don't have any ur urgent matters to deal with at the moment. If, if not, and I'm, I'm, I'm up for it. The possibility that the demons could come in from that that cave portal that we saw, or that the Shishuva could break down the door, Do and, they, our mission, uh, and our mission to you know continue investigating the cultists, those would, I think be our priorities, right? Uh, Priorities, um, but I don't think too much horrifically would change if we, if, if it only ends up we can do this in a day. I don't think too much would really change. Do we need to try to get the prisoners out of here? Um, making them wait around while I make a magic weapon seems a little. I don't think we could really get them to safety. Because like we'd have to. Yeah. We've already <laughs> came into that problem on the outside of the prison. Remember? <laughs> well, what is the really ultimate badly, plan? Then? We were pretty badly depleted that time. We needed a rest uh, before we would be able to escort them. No, 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 no. Went... The main problem with escorting them was we knew a hundred percent that the camp right there would see them, because <laughs> there were too many people to. Oops. Yeah, we were yeah. need to be spotted, and the group's only bigger now. So yeah. what is the eventual plan to deal with that, then? I think the eventual plan is to keep them following us, keeping them in safe places until we can eventually just work our way through and actually. Yeah, I think, I mean, if, if we can't get them past the camp, then we just need to keep them safe and watch for new options, I think. Yeah, and if we rest them up enough, we'll then maybe a couple of them will be willing to fight with the at, with us at the base. Well, yeah, they at least true. will be, be able to better defend themselves, at least, as well, if we continue to arm them and let them rest and feed them. And we gave we them enough... got all those new supplies for them to eat and stuff. Right, is that enough food to last for a few days? It was like 200 was... rations, wasn't it? It was a lot. About how many people? Yeah. About how many... 30. Right, so we have six days, roughly? Something uh, like that, yeah. One, assuming like everyone eats people. Right, DM. Be about thirty-ish. Right. Uh, sorry, I was reading on downtime. What was the question? How many prisoners we like have like freed and have collected? Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, uh, I think that was recorded was in the group notes. Yeah, 11 Minotaurs, 26 Knolls are in your... Okay, uh, so many... 37. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm not seeing anything... about multiple characters. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's so many, sorry, there's just a bunch of internet people making up their own rules. It gets confusing <laughs> when I'm doing a search. Yeah. Like, like, oh, this is like a good read. Oh, wait, this guy is just doing a bunch of house rules. Okay. <laughs> I think it's because the rules themselves are very vague on it. Yeah, it, I was looking for 
something in here. I, I might have to do some research on this, but for now we're, I'll say it's going to take two days. Uh, usually it would take several weeks to do this, so this is definitely a good opportunity. Uh, plus two magical item is considered rare, so it takes a long time to make one of those. Plus, I... Everyone in this group has a magical item, if I remember right. Uh, yes. Yes. But I think so the, the sword... It would just upgrade... You? It would just upgrade one of them. Well, like do you have a magical them. item at all? Uh, yeah, I have a plus one rapier, though... Okay. If I... Like, though if well, I'm on it, I definitely would be interested in, uh, making... In enchanting, uh, this one, and he... Uh... And I tap on the uh, sword that I had when uh, when you well, first I met me. Think, I think it was said that we could swap out the weapon, right? Yes, uh, it just has to be a weapon that can accept an enchantment. Uh, I mean, well, it doesn't have to be, but if you use something that isn't uh, isn't higher quality or awaken, then there's a chance that the enchantment will not take. So generally, you want to use something that's master worked or awakened. And uh, just for knowledge, like, uh, how can you tell if something's uh, awakened? The easiest way is to do an identify spell uh, on a weapon, and generally, weapons that have seen are older and have seen more combat are more likely to take an, uh, an enchantment. So, like heirlooms, especially, or weapons that have been in many great battles. Okay. So, knowing that, like, the thing is, like, uh, we could uh, replace, like, overwrite an enchantment with a new one, but I know for certain that uh, this, uh, this one I have has seen much more uh, battles than I have. And it's and will very likely take an enchant uh, be susceptible for enchantment. So we could have an additional weapon to uh, to spread amongst our allies, or just sell potentially. Although actually, it might be a good upgrade for um, Onyx because I think he's using a plus one scimitar. I am using a plus one scimitar, and so, I do not like the feel of a scimitar. But um, what what are we talking about here? This is a potentially swapping out the short sword for a rapier for him to use, and then you're keeping you his plus no, one I, that he already has. I wouldn't. I wouldn't care for uh, a short sword any more than a a, a scimitar. I, I'd be looking for you know a, a long sword, perhaps. No, we're saying rapier. Yeah, uh, oh, I th I think, a rapier for me? I think Elwyn... Yeah, so he's saying, getting yeah. rid of... Sorry, I think he's saying that his nice sword is potentially good enough to use, right? Yes. And if it is, then he's saying that he'll take a plus two, plus two, uh, his plus two rapier, and then we have a spare a plus, plus one, one rapier to give out. Was this an item for Onyx that you all were making? No, he just. I think one. they're proposing that they will enchant Eldwin's uh, very fine heirloom rapier oh, okay. with the plus two enchantment, and then Eldwin's current plus one rapier would be available if that is yes. something that would help Onyx. I see. That, that they're asking Onyx if if he would be interested in that. Since you said that the weapon we enchant it has a better chance of taking the enchantment if it's. Um, more battle. Uh, yes, that's correct. So you could identify your rapier, Eldwin, to see uh, if it would accept the enchantment. Um, if you want assurance. Yeah, I'll probably do that if, if we're gonna uh, if we're gonna go down that route. If but we if, think we're going down that route. If those um, if the cultists had begun the ritual on this short sword, then likely the short sword has some history on it as well. Yeah, I mean, you can tell the short sword is, uh, well, uh, does anyone have smithing? I think, uh, Onyx does, right? Yeah, and I assume Uvlo. Probably masterwork. So yeah, you, you could both tell that the, the short sword is a masterworked weapon, which 
is uh, extremely likely to take an enchantment. So we could check yours, see if it would. Definitely doesn't hurt. I've never actually identified it, funny enough. Worst case, <laughs> do we have another masterwork something or other somewhere? Yeah, we picked up one from uh, from the armory that they had here. What is it? What was I think it was also a short sword. Yeah, oh, another gosh. short sword. Poor Onyx, we just can't seem to get him his long sword. <laughs> I thought we picked one up ages ago, like a dagger or something. <laughs> dagger, I mean, that's much fine. better. It's fine. Any Anything magic works. I mean, I, I was just looking to upgrade my yeah. potential damage a little, but it's it's I can deal with this scimitar. It's fine. For now, anyway. Potentially, I, sure. if that rapier does <laughs> hold the enchantment, then you can have a rapier. Here. I'll since this conversation seems to be uh, hinging on whether this is enchant, like my rapier is enchantable or not, I'll just cast identify uh, on it. Uh, all right. So you take the ten minutes and identify it. Uh, it does give you some information on the history uh, of the the battles that. Uh, at least a general idea that this weapon has seen a lot of battles, and uh, you believe that there is a very high chance that it will accept a magical enchantment. Nice. It's like, because this like, this so weapon was uh, passed down from your family, right? This is yes. your heirloom. Yeah. So I like this the is a pretty idea. Pretty old I, weapon. If you, can, if you can enchant someone's backstory weapon. I think that's actually pretty cool story wise, out of character, FYI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to be like, hey guys, let's totally enchant the stuff no, that's no, the not, many <laughs> not many groups have that opportunity. People end up replacing the weapons they start with because we find things, you know? So it's kind of cool I, that you get, yeah. I have felt so bad this whole time because I'm like, we're fighting demons. I need a magic weapon. <laughs> I've got this plus one right here. My poor <laughs> backstory wants to say, and I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, my child. Well, well, I vote let's do it, but um, I'm fine with whatever we decide. Okay. Uh, so, do you want to start working on that today? Uh, I forget. Did we also want? Uh, did we also want to? Clear up the, <laughs> I know. Uh, clear out the second. Shosuva room, or did we think if about If we're going to stay here, I think we should. But like was like it was said, the door that the demons potentially can just walk through is probably more worrisome. Yeah. Yes, the Shosuva are sealed for now. I mean, it's true they could break out, but I think if we stay away from that area, just as the Dark Elves had for several weeks, they probably will just stay in there. Right. Yeah. Mm. Just making sure that we had our bases covered. All right. Let's see I mean, if we I'm... can't secure that door somehow, I guess. Yeah. I will say, it's like, we should definitely try and secure and see if we can secure that door and a plus... And if we're going to be heading into well, the Nolzen camp, extra firepower would definitely help us out. The one thing that's nice is that door we came through, I believe, was hidden, right? The one that leads into this area. So that might be why the demons were not disturbing the drow, is because they just don't know to get, how to get in here. Uh, that, that is a fair point. I believe it was Astral who figured out how to open it. Uh, me and I'm highly wrong. Yes. Lay down. Yeah. But, um, I could take a look at it, I suppose. Uh, I believe that, um, I mean, there, there might be a way to jam it and make it inoperable so nothing could come through. I can still can try if you want me to. Uh, yes, I could help, uh, Uvlul says. We could both, uh, and honestly, Onyx might be able to assist us as well with his, uh, skill, uh, with his artificer skills. 
messing with uh, the uh, mechanical aspects of it. Sure. All right, so the three of you are going to mess with the door, and who is going to try to enchant the weapon? Oh, well... We've got one for one. I think... If I'm messing with the door, someone else can enchant the weapon. Yeah. Uh, what? Like, what would it be to... I feel like what? Arcane, I'm assuming. I'm chanting it. Arcana, I'm assuming. Uh, you have to be a spellcaster, and I uh, let me see. Um, crafting rules, uh, formula, which is you have special ingredient, which you have. Uh, work weeks are mostly complete. Um, the amount of gold slash essence, which you are uh, uh, components, which you've already acquired. Uh, and you need a smith tool proficiency, it looks like. I, I am proficient in smith tools, so if it, if it makes sense for me to do that oh, instead my. of the door. Although I'm in... Help you. <clears throat> well, what you can oh. do that. I'm intrigued by the door situation. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think it might... Uh, then maybe it would be better for just... Onyx and Astral to go look at that because I think they're better with locks and then you can do this minute. So yeah, you have to have someone in there who is proficient with Arcana, proficient with Smith Maybe. tools, uh, Maybe. at least level 6 and uh, the ability to use spell slots. So as mean. long as all those are fulfilled by one or multiple people, you guys can do it. Oh, Lou, do you mind pulling me on? Because I can't see where we are now. Oh, that's what you get for not being uh, here last week. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there you go. Damn dog. Always leaving. Oh my god, he's double wounded. Uh, triple wounded. Triple wounded. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think it's safe that. to assume he would have long rested by now as well. <laughs> uh, I'll say he was in the background of the fight, so he is going to probably be at half health. Fair enough. <laughs> Let's say uh, maybe half uh, spell slots expended. Cool. Just to uh, kind of simulate you being part of all this. Alright. So yeah, which one of you wants to work on the weapon? And who's I working on the there, door? It sounds like well, everybody else works on the door. Okay, so to work on the door, there isn't really a mechanical ooh, ooh. skill. I was going to say, can I... Ah, uh, there's not a mechanical skill. I, don't, I well, can't do an investigation check to see which of my many toolkit proficiencies could come into play here. Uh, oh, there are toolkits. <laughs> that's, that's true. Um, do you have I, I have. I have thieves, tinkers, masons, smiths, and Do you get thieves workers. tools as a... As a um, yeah. Yes. An yeah. Everything you want. Yeah. And, and well, you don't get a poison I, kit. But. Spoiler alert, I also got it from my background. But Gotcha. Uh, yeah, Thieves' Tools are definitely uh, something you could use use for this, and I would allow Dex or Intelligence. Yeah, I, I make shit Intelligence. Checks. So if you and Astral are working on that, go ahead and give me a roll. That'll take several hours. Uh, oh, well, probably doesn't matter with that roll. Uh, so, with a 28 Onyx, you indeed figure out a way to dismantle that secret door. Now, that will only protect you from that room. Uh, you, they can go upstairs and come around down the stairs, as that's not sealed. Uh, in fact, you would probably gather, that's why the drow had the traps on, and why they were blood splotches uh, here mm. to protect from things coming in from downstairs or upstairs, sorry. Uh, but yeah, do you want to disable the uh, the secret door up here? Yes. I assume that's what we want to do, yeah. Okay, so it is disabled for the time being. That took... Uh, I'll say three or four hours. I'll say four hours. Uh, and who is working on the magical item? I think Uvel. 
Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to try to pass the rest of the day. Oh, uh, just a quick question. Like, uh, what, like, with enchanting, would I be able to help Uvlal at all with Arcana? Or. Uh, yeah, you could. Or? I mean, so if there were multiple. So if he was missing any of the skills, you could help to provide those skills. Uh, at this point, there isn't really a role involved. I mean, you could help him, like, through RP, but uh, I don't okay. think it will do anything mechanically speaking. Mechanically, it means nothing. I mean, our, like, I would definitely assist since it's uh, his uh, sword that we're working on. But Yeah. I know there's also a uh, uh, an alchemy station here. I don't know if any of you know how to do potion craft with alchemy or uh, herbalism. But that's something the group could also work on. I do have alchemist, or I do have proficiency in alchemist tools, but I think I'm going to be busy working, so that doesn't matter. Yeah. Alright, well, uh, unless there's someone else, uh, if there's something else anyone wants to work on downtime-wise, uh, just let me know, otherwise I'm going to pass the day, or at least attempt to. Would I have time to... Uh... Cast uh, find familiar. Yeah, that that should be fine as long as you have the needed ingredients to expend. Oh, I guess if we're ending the day as well, I uh, I have a deal to follow out on. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. We're, uh, we're sending Astral home. Ooh. Uh, that's true. Uh, does Astral want to be banished? Yes, but before he does that, he would go find Otto and return the dagger of returning. Okay. So, Otto, you get your dagger back. Man, I he can't does. wait for a minute to pass and then he comes back. <laughs> That'd be so funny. <laughs> oh. Thank you, my odd elf friend. Okay, uh, so the day is passing. I'm gonna roll for something. Uh, all right, so you would put a day of work towards the creation of this sword. You need one more day. Uh, do you have the spell at the end of the day to banish him, Anvir? Yeah, I still have a fourth level. Okay, so that would happen. Uh, and, yeah, uh, Samuel would vanish. One person! Who is this Samuel you speak of? Or, no, he's just telling you to get out. Or ast Astral would vanish. <laughs> this being a dude. <laughs> Alright, so... And, uh, move that character sheet. So it is the next day... Uh, go ahead and spend a day's worth of food, everyone. You can do uh, a long rest as well. I love he's just gone now. <laughs> Nothing to do that. Just like, okay, bye. Yep, see ya. Does that include uh, me on my new character? Uh, we still have to figure out how exactly your new character is coming in. So they're not there yet. One um, taken. Uh, I, did we talk about an introduction for your new character? Nope. Alright, so then oh. I'll just have to figure something out. Uh, so for now, you are not there, and I will get back to you on that. Yeah. Uh, Alright, so this day, what does everyone want to do? Hang on, I'm sorry. Um, did... Uh... Andrea, did you tell the rest of us that you were banishing him? I imagine I was doing it as everyone was almost settling down. Okay, so I would switch to Gloves of Thievery again then. Okay. Since I would normally have those. Alright, just wanted to set my infusions. Thanks. Do it. 
Yeah, I imagine this is a thing, like, I didn't do it separately. I imagine he said he's goodbyes and stuff. Yeah, no, I didn't. I just can't think of it. Yeah. I mean, we knew him for a whole, like, what, two, three days? He was probably like, nice meeting you guys. I'm going back home. <laughs> yeah. I'm out of yeah. here. It was a nice yeah, bender, lads. Days. Nice meeting you. Yeah, and he took the plans of the Iron Maiden. <laughs> so he just introduced the Iron Maiden to the Shadowfell. And the Executioner's Hood. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's gonna be a change up. Alright, so he is gone, uh, and what are you all doing this next day? I can get rid of my exhaustion. Thank God. Yep, you can minus days worth of exhaustion. Just make sure you eat some food. Yeah, I did that. I guess we're trying to get this sword done. And then we're leaving. Right? Is that, yeah, yeah, we could do that. So it'll take you, uh, you believe, eight hours to finish this. Uh, but we could... Uh... Explore, walk around, do, do something. Do we want to finish in it those first? eight hours? Yeah, the demon dog creatures seem to still be trapped, or at least you haven't heard anything from them. I imagine we just keep sending Ramti down to that hallway to keep an eye on it. Yeah. Oh, no, I haven't heard much from you. What are your thoughts? Yeah, she's uh, Ramti has been hanging out in that hallway, invisible, just keeping an eye on things. Oh no, um, we're talking about what to do today. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Sorry. Um, I... uh, who, we have someone working on the weapon, right? I think we're. Yeah. Just, yeah. I mean, One of if, these two boys if someone wants it. to explore, I'll follow. But I do worry about encountering anything when we're split up. Well, I bet we could go as a party to explore for a little bit if we wanted. Uh, yeah, because I do agree. Wise. Out of your wise to uh, not split up, that never ends well. But uh, eight hours is only a portion of a full day, so. Oh, that's true. Yeah, so we could we could do some exploration um, during part of the day uh, when we're not crafting. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't Can really have anything. First? I don't really have anything that this particular character could be crafting with the materials we have right now. So. Nor do I, that I know of. Uh. Cool, so I guess step one is to for a day again. Alright, so we're passing a day as the crafting happens oh. and everyone is waiting for that. No one is doing anything other than uh, just waiting. Uh, I'm gonna work well, on... So. Uh, Stay. I'm gonna work on that upgrade for Hassan with the. Okay, so you can put another day towards that. All right. How much do you need to do for that? A week. How and many you is... got? Uh, work week, is... so like forty hours, basically. So this will be three days. So. Huh. Yeah, four, forty hours huh. of downtime, basically, is uh, yeah, what you need. This would be twenty-four. Uh so I just oh, guess we're just waiting the eight hours. All right. Should we text the guard tokens to the enchanting room? Rolling for something. And the sword kills everybody. Uh so the eight <laughs> hours would what? pass without issue. Uh, so you would finish the sword, uh, expending the components, you now have a plus two rapier. And now we oh. also have a plus one rapier that we can give to Onyx. Yep. Yes. Yay! Upgrades! Upgrades, people! Upgrades! Alright, so it's 3pm nice. <laughs> on the 16th of spring currently. Feed me to that. All right, well, I guess we move on and keep exploring. To the Tunnel of Death. Hmm. Yeah, the, uh, the, um, 
sorry, the uh, gnolls are actually in higher spirits. Uh, they've had a chance to help their friends heal up. They've been feeding them, uh, so they're definitely looking better as their exhaustion has gone down. Uh, the uh, name of person who I forget. Uh, Garo? Garo, yeah. Uh, would tell I you it. it was Garo and I think uh, Garo and Dosha are the yes. two that are there. Uh, Garo They're would definitely Dosha. Yeah, Garo would tell you that he uh, he believes that the wounded still need some time to recover. Uh, he would like to have them rest another day, but uh, he understands if you all need to leave for now and uh, look around at least. Uh, they would be happy to stay here for the time being until a new way is found. And then maybe once they feel better, they can go into the cave as a group. I think that might be a good idea. I, I was going to recommend that the group, the no, uh, all of you guys stayed here for a bit for us to check it out anyway. All right. So you do plan to go down there then? Yeah, but I think, I, I think it's good that we uh, scout it out to make sure there's not going to be too much trouble for everyone anyway. Very good. Uh, we shall stay here, then. Alright, so you are all going down into the caves? Into the pits of hell. <laughs> Funny enough, so we have to go up and around. <laughs> uh, Otto, you all, uh, you all figured out how to open up the hands of the statue, right? If I remember yeah, correctly. Yeah, we, we got the crystal out of it. Okay, that's what I figured. I just wanted to double check. Uh, so, if you open up the trap door, uh, you would see a rope hanging off several pythons going down into a cave below. Uh, it looks like about a 30 foot drop, so it's not oh. insignificant. Oh, this is going to be fun. I can already tell for me. I mean, all of us, really. Can I, um,. Let's see, I think I have light. Do I have light? Um, yeah, can I, mean, I cast, cast light I on a pebble and drop it down in there? Uh, yeah, sure. So you would cast light, dropping the pebble down, which illuminates the space below. Uh, it is a large cavernous area with uh, offshoot tunnels going in several directions. I will look around and see if anyone else is looking eager to go first. <laughs> oh, I always am. <laughs> Gara, will... do you know which path is the direction towards the base? Or... Yeah, who's our guide, our little spy, Noel? Does he have any insight? Yeah. Uh, he says, I believe uh, if you continue south uh, east of here, the tunnel should take you underneath the main base of the cultists. The goes southeast, got it. Through the caves. Uh, as best you can. Um, in fact, I might want to come with you just so I can help you navigate. Oh, good, good, good. If that's alright. Any, right. any of the yes, other gnolls uh, or minotaurs? Um, feeling like they might be up for a fight or want to come with? Uh, now that they've had some rest? They would be happy to come with you, but uh, you know that their ability to fight is not nearly as good as uh, your group's, so you would okay. be putting them in a considerable amount of danger. Okay. Like bringing Let's a level here. one yeah. with a, a level, what are you guys, eight? Yeah. yeah, like for yeah. a level one or a two with a level eight group. I mean, they could be useful for uh, you know extra, you know extra soldiers with you, but you are going into a pretty dangerous place. Yeah, we would Let's... probably lose some of them at least. So. Yes, we'll we'll just uh, go with Garo yeah. as a guide. Let's do that. They're not as specialized. I will. Um, Ramti's going to become a bat and um, follow Eldwin if Eldwin's going in first. Um, so for some extra perception. Okay. Uh, yeah, I said it was a uh, rope heading down. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'd start uh, 
climb down the rope, and if I get to the bottom without any trouble, I'll cast a uh, light on the stone on my sword. Uh, give me a d20 roll. You immediately get pounced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, you got your sword and you're dead. Oh, are you stealthing, by the way? <laughs> You trying to be uh, quiet? Uh, we th <laughs> if I were down there, it would be. Yeah, I'm. I'm just trying to think. Like, I'd definitely be quiet. I don't know how well it'd be because we just threw down a light source into a dark cave. But true. <laughs> All right. So you get to the bottom. Uh, it seems safe, at least for now. I will uh, take. Uh, Is that your stealth roll? <laughs> no, he told me to roll a d20. Oh, yeah. I missed that. I, I will forgot. um I will look through um Romti's eyes as Eldwin kinda gets to the bottom and is looking around whoever else is climbing down, like the first couple people I'll check things out through Romti's eyes. I guess I'll uh start going as well. So you would notice signs of passage. Uh you believe that a figure came through here recently, at least within the last few days. I'm going to the try and quietly make my recently. way down to. Alright, so you all climb down into this cave area. Delphily! <laughs> my what armor is that? currently retracted. That way you're not clanking and clanking and clanking. Yes. Precisely, precisely. Get into the underground area. I'm deleting all the rest of your characters from the map. Good thing you were not wearing the heavy armor. Yes. Yes. Frankity, 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 frankity. Alright, so to navigate through this area, uh, it will require survival ooh survival does anyone I'll take up to two rolls from the group if anyone wants to try to help with the survival checks I don't think anyone here is proficient at survival okay so you're relying oh, on I hope Otto is but... no I'm not oh okay alright so you're just relying just on Garo. Your... Garo okay so he is Examining the tunnels as you travel through the underground area. Please, for the love of God, tell me your new character has some of them. Survival? No. <laughs> We've, nah, gotten this far. <laughs> We've gotten this far. We've gotten this far. Have we gotten this far? Honestly, don't know. Uh, and the group <laughs> is not stealthing and they are using light sources, correct? We are stealthing. And we will probably not... Well, I guess... Huh, that's going to be hard. There's a couple of us that can't see in the dark. Yeah, Two people. Uh, if any of you can't see in the dark, you would probably have to use a light source. You'd be extremely slowed going through a um, rough cave. We have a not hooded lantern, right? Can you see in the dark? Oh, I think that was um, way back when we had Turtle Boy. Oh, okay. That was his... Like contents. What was his name? Dandelion. That Does was his name. Do none of you it. have torches or light sources? Oh yeah, we, we had light, light sources. Yeah, yeah. If we, had, we were just trying to. If we had a hooded lantern, so we oh. could kind of direct the the light a little better. We would, yeah, we were trying to yeah. figure out how to make us less of obvious beacon. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well... But no, I guess we're just marching proudly with light, because some <laughs> of us won't be able to see otherwise. Some of us are human. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, most things that can use light in the caves tend to uh, use light to stave off madness anyway. Uh, yeah, that's true. I always forget so, about the madness. Usually, yeah, I forget uh, humanoids anyway, even if they can see in the dark, don't want to just go all day without being exposed to light as it starts to creep up on you. Uh, so... To me and Eldrin both have our light spells going, as usual. Yeah, okay, so light spells means you don't have to expend torches. Uh, stealth will slow you down a bit. Give me stealth checks for the group. Oh, the nat one. 
Come on. We have to see it. Garrow seems like he's doing a pretty good job of navigating. There is some winding and uh, backtracking as you go through a couple of caves that just dead end, but it seems like you're making progress. Not one! No, there it is. There no, it is. I mean, it's, it's a 22, but... <laughs> yeah, but still, but, not one. <laughs> but there was a not one. <laughs> the, the kind we like. The, the ones that don't count. <laughs> the ones that don't matter. <laughs> Alright, so... Give me a d20 roll again. How far um, apart are we guys? Are we all huddled together, guys? Or are we letting Eldwin kind of yes! go a little bit ahead? Oh no. <laughs> Not one! Your enthusiasm for that to once is a bit strange. Especially it's an event table, thankfully, so... <laughs> I'm sorry, there was the main chat where we had six not ones. And yeah, I, I saw like you minutes. saying about that. Uh, so... Let me roll something here. For no particular reason. <laughs> so, uh, it's probably about... Seven o'clock at this point. You've been traveling for a good amount of the day. Seven p.m. Yeah, seven in the evening. I would hope so. We spent eight hours working this morning. Oh yeah. Okay. I didn't. Yeah. You think you see? Uh, it looks like down one of the side tunnels, um, a light source. Which is a little bit disturbing, as these caves seem pretty abandoned. Shall I send Rumpty ahead? As soon as I see the light source, I turn off my light. Same. Okay. I'll have Rumpty fly ahead and just take a peek, um, if she can get a look at where the light source is coming from. She will be stealthy about it. I imagine invisible. Yeah, she's invisible. Yeah, she has been. I time. said that so weirdly. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Uh, and I will. Look, I will look through her eyes meanwhile. So Romti is flying ahead towards the light source, trying to figure out what it is. Uh, go ahead and give me a stealth check for her. That one. Advantage, at least. Mm. Yeah. Okay. A, a four isn't much better than a nat one. <laughs> uh, she's invisible, right? She is. Okay. Uh, so... A ten... Uh, you would see, looking through her eyes, there is a figure sort of stumbling around in the darkness a bit. Uh, it looks like they might be lost, or at least frustrated. Um, Are they in darkness, or is, did you say there was a light? Uh, they do have a light, yes. Yeah, that's how we saw them. That's how you, yeah, exactly. They have a, I'll say, like a, probably like a lantern or something. Um, uh, it looks like okay. an elf. Okay. Uh, we an elf boy! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem like they've noticed you. Um, do, are they armed? Do they look disheveled or injured? Uh, they definitely look disheveled. Um, they look like... Do you have, uh, what's your insight? Oh, I don't know. Let me see. I mean, I think it's like pretty high, but um, passive is sixteen. Uh, all right, so their general demeanor seems kind of frustrated, maybe a little bit 
fearful, uh, probably someone who's lost in these caves. Ooh-hoo. But it doesn't look like I a see. drow or a a um, okay. shatter kai. Okay. Woohoo, a stranger, an elf. Uh, they seem lost. Don't how particularly seem like a cultist. And I would share whatever details of how far Rumpty went and what the cave looks like that he's stumbling around in. Uh, they are fairly close. The main reason you saw them is because you, uh, yeah, you saw their light in that side cave. So they're not necessarily coming towards you. I would, um, call out an elven. Old friend. (laughs) All right. So you call down the tunnel, um, I assume the, uh, well, the light would stop moving, uh, and a voice, uh, I'm guessing would say, who's, who's there? I would step forward. So you're going to go down the tunnel towards where this person probably is? Yes. Do you turn your light back on? I imagine so. Okay. I, so I feel less threatened by this. <laughs> what is, uh, what's the reaction to this? Um, I'm also going to don my armor. Rompty will continue to... (laughs) Rompty will continue to hang out kind of above the the stranger invisibly, and Otto will follow the rest of the group as they move in. Uh, So, what would you look like to them as they come down this hallway? Um, Obviously disheveled. Seems like I've been walking for a while, but I have robes on and shuffled messy hair like it hasn't been combed in a few days. Uh, It looks like they have uh, a torch which is running low on light. There's that and a book by my side. So, as as you're stumbling through these caves uh, very much worried about uh, finding your way out, yeah, you would hear these people coming down the hall, and there are, I assume you all come over here, there are now five of them here with you. Uh, what do you want to say to them? Fix if you include the null. True, yeah. You didn't have to say stop the second time. I heard you the first time. I didn't say stop the second time. Wait, what? Uh, you forget your own words. How cute. I'm very confused. Did I say that twice? I very much don't think I did. Yeah. And I stop walking over towards him and say, the fact that you believe me tells me a lot about your character. I don't know if I should be insulted or not. Uh, the knoll would look down at you and say, ah, it's an elf. Uh, no offense, he says, looking back to, uh, um, who was it? Anvir. Mm-hmm. He says, uh, it Help looks like it, it looks like it could be dangerous. Do I know the particular brand of elf? Uh, he looks like a half elf to you. Uh, so the knoll would look down at you, because um, I assume you're shorter than he is, because he's like six foot something. Uh, and he would say, Are you some kind of. 7'4. Sp- you're 7'4? Uh huh. As an elf. I don't think that's even possible. Uh, magic. Weird ways. Uh, how are you 7'4? <laughs> Roll dice. Can you? I don't think you can roll that high as a as an elf. Yeah, it says their max height is just over six feet. Yeah, I don't um, think you can actually be seven four unless there's something reason you're that tall. Then it sits. All right. So yeah, he would look down at you though. You are very tall for an elf. Uh, he He's says. A walker. Yeah, he's got stilts on underneath his uh, underneath his robes. Uh, he would look down at you and say, uh, "Are you some kind of spellcaster?" Uh, 
You can say that, yes. Oh. Uh, plus, we nowadays, I would not agree with that. It says, what are you doing in these caves, magic user? Okay, that's rude. I have a name, but, um... Well, I was looking for some people, and, um... What kind of got lost on the way here? <clears throat> he says, well... Eh. He kind of looks back at the group and shrugs. He says, I suppose we should leave you to looking for your people, then? Uh, that's the thing, I probably won't find them down here. Oh. So, just because it's, like, very mazy, or because they're not here? <laughs> yes to the first one, and no to the second one. Been a few weeks since I last heard of them down here, so I'm assuming they were. It says, who are you looking for? This place is inhabited by deadly creatures. I'm surprised you're even alive down here. <laughs> but the question who I'm looking for is... Anyone interesting? Shit, the scarring moment is all of you. He just looks a little confused. Uh, well... Now that you've found us, what can we do for you? That is an interesting question, which I think I'm going to keep to myself for now, if you don't mind. Well, do you want to help us? We need to kill a lot of gnolls. How do you feel yeah, about Yaganu? I do, I, I do apologize. I need to specify evil occultist knows. <laughs> Kill is a word I have long forgotten. I will help you, but I will not kill anyone. Yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Mm, I don't trust him. I say we leave him here. Will you assist us in killing people, even if you don't deal the final blow? They'll find that that has a lot of question marks. Well, a lot of unknowns. Would you do things that in the long run would inevitably lead to somebody's death? Like restrain a person or heal like that. us. Or... Take care of us to make sure that uh, we're able to kill these no, evil cultists. Yes. Wait, so no to restraining people, yes to healing people? Yeah, what's going with that? Us. Supporting us is a good word. Good couple of words. Oh, what kind of skills do you have? Uh, I, like, on, as you say that, Anvir, uh, Ellen's like, Ellen just walk up, like, like, look, Look, I don't, I don't trust what you're doing here. So I'm gonna see these healing skills for myself, and I'm just gonna slice. Uh, like I'm just going to like slice on my leg with my rapier. Yes. Three. You're gonna stab yourself. Yes. <laughs> uh, sure. Roll d8. Or are right. you trying to? Uh, are you just trying to like poke yourself a little bit? No, I'm trying to injure myself. All right. Roll well, damage I'm for yourself. Full on damage with the plus two rapier. Yep. <laughs> this is the like, stupidest thing I have seen. The first I blood on do. the blood on his new yep. his own. <laughs> uh, so you stab yourself for eleven piercing. That hurt. I right. could have killed a lesser person. <laughs> oh god, he nicked the femoral. The uh, the knoll seems very confused at all this. He says. Why are we even talking to this person? 
not sure that person has a name, and my name is Edward Sitfried Von Wupen. As he does a little va uh, bow. He growls and he says, I don't care who you are. You seem rude and I don't trust you. Well, take it from my side. You seem rude to me. It's a matter of perspective. Honestly, I'm with him. You did immediately go, uh, an elf when you saw him. I, I'm kind of with him on this one. As Call long to as an the, elf. Um... Yeah. Um, like, the um, I'm saying like, to Garo that I'm kind of with um, <laughs> the other guy. And he says, well, if you trust random people you find in caves, that's your business. That's how you get killed. That's how I met half of these people. Hoo-hoo, <laughs> <laughs> uh. okay, as long I... as he does not follow Iyaganu Iyag and w w will not, and says he will not deal any fatal blows, then I would say he's um, not, a, not a harm to us and maybe a help. Like, no, seriously, except for Eldwin and Onyx here. Otto popped out of a ring suddenly. And Uval was just kind of wandering around the prison. <laughs> I walked up to them. Half naked. Half naked. Don't forget that part. Oh, yes. Completely <laughs> naked. <laughs> just a blue naked bald man. Looked like, <laughs> looked like Mr. Manhattan. I walked past. Okay. I walked up to them and past them. But as I pass them, I say, don't worry. I wouldn't harm such a cute face. Do you do, do anything it? about Eldwin's gaping gash? <laughs> well, I, say, I walked up that yeah, cape. Well, prove your points here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> prove your usefulness. Steal this man's leg. I completely forgot about this somehow. <laughs> I am not a healer. The most I could do is... You lied to us. Look at it. I said I would help you. I never said I was a healer. No, we asked if you would be good at healing wounds or restraining people, and you said yes to healing wounds. <laughs> but that did happen. I go up to his leg and see what I can do with a medicine check. Uh, with, uh, oh, so if you're, <laughs> are you trained in medicine? Yes. Uh, so, I mean, at this point, there's not too much you could do. Uh, you can't heal with medicine unless you have the healer feet. I mean, you could kind of bandage it for cosmetic effect, but in actuality, like he, uh, he probably, hmm, yeah. People don't usually stab themselves. Usually, being at high hit points, you're dodging attacks, not wounding yourself. Yeah, honestly, if I was if I was a healer and you walked up to me and like slashed yourself in front of me, like that was a I weird thing might... to do. <laughs> yeah, like, I might just, unless you were, like, literally dying, I might just be like, well, I mean, you did it to yourself, and I am in a scary place and don't want to use my spell slot. <laughs> Check him into a mental institute. Yeah. So, yeah, there's not <laughs> much you so could do for... It's healing that needs to happen there. It's not, it's not nothing with the wound. They need to, uh... There's not much you could do for his wound, yeah. <laughs> I'll just quickly do a first level healing word. Okay. For no other reason that I want to. <laughs> Alright, so you cast Healing Word, uh, helping your friend who stabbed himself regain some of his... Uh... No, I guess it depends. Actually, uh, let me correct myself. It depends on my character. Oh. Betha wouldn't heal you, but Arapel would. <laughs> For some yeah. reason, the... Um... It's not rolling it. I go... I'm clicking on well, it. Well, you clicked on the it. description there. You have to click on yeah. the spell. I'm clicking on the spell. I clicked on the description because it wasn't working. I thought you were having this problem last week. Were you able to fix it since then? I think it's just certain spells for some reason. You might have to Are delete you... them and drag them back on. Yeah. Are you in the spell book or the bio? May I call I, I'm in my spells on my thing. Uh, you might want to go to core. There should be a healing wood set up there. Yeah, I'll try doing it there. No, we deleted all of my macros because there were so many because it added one for all of my spells. <laughs> yeah. Breaking everything. Let's do a D4 and then we'll add four. Hey, I... Four, eight. Hey. So you gain eight, so you feel a bit better. Uh, 
Yeah, so the Noel shrugs. He says, uh, I would kill someone who is so vague and does not appreciate help in a cave, but you all can do things as you wish. And he What's says, we should continue onward, though. If he's joining us. Who are you us. saying has a pretty face? <laughs> uh, I'll let you figure that one out for yourself. Gallo's pretty grumpy. I mean... <laughs> He doesn't like Who this guy. Uh, <laughs> he was obviously well, talking I'll... about me. Because <laughs> there's the terrifying thing. There's a Garo... 50 50 chance, really. It's me. Are you... like so, are you saying to Garrow? Are you saying this to him? Or are you just saying that out of character? Um, Sure. Yeah. Otto's like, all right, Mr. Grumpy Pants. <laughs> he says, We are in a dangerous place, and this fool is dancing around with half answers. I have no wish to deal with this. Otto is literally like, dancing around. <laughs> yeah, Otto hops from foot to foot and giggles. <laughs> he says, I know Otto. I will tolerate Right, that. exactly. It's I like the, the, the I do nonsense not. we know versus the nonsense we don't know. <laughs> I like this one. Yes. The, the dancing creature. <laughs> He's just a friend we haven't made yet. I think, uh, do, I you, do you have Arcana? Who, me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, nope. Okay, so you probably <laughs> know that, or you probably know I that do. she is a gnome, uh, or he is a gnome. Um, not that gnomes are common, but uh, due to your exposure to magic, you probably have some knowledge of them. You don't know much about them. Point, at this point, Rompty will land on Otto's shoulder, switch back to quasi form, and become visible, and then scream. Oh god. So what uh, world was this following me? Okay, that makes a lot of sense. I hate this thing so much, feel free to kill it. I mean what? <laughs> uh, so as she makes a bunch of noise. <laughs> oh great. Maybe out of character to say that. <laughs> okay. About to say. There there is no way on me would actually say that. <laughs> So Garrow would look at uh, Edward again and say, well, maybe you could be of some use to us. Uh, is there a southern tunnel you came from? And if there is, is there danger down it? I mean, how long have I been, quote unquote, exploring this place? Uh, you've been here for a couple of hours. It's like it's been days. Uh, well, I'll say you've been here for most of uh, what time is it? Um, you've been here for most of the day, wandering these caves, lost. So, uh, all I would say is, you just asked a guy who looks lost about a direction that he. God. He says, ah, never mind. I should have known. And he just keeps walking. He looks around. He says, I believe it is this way. Whenever you all are ready. Woohoo! I will this... follow Garrow. <laughs> we have to be proficient to help him, don't we? Uh, well, I mean, if you want, you can just give him a wisdom check. Um, which would just basically, like, kind of represent you looking around as well. Like, keeping an eye out for things. So I'll I'll take would two my wisdom checks. Help any? Would my perception help any? Uh, it's not as much perception. It's more like being able to read the caves and figure out which direction you should take, or like look out for danger. So yeah, if you I, want, two of you can give wisdom checks to help him. I go. I mean, I'm up, just gonna roll survival anyway because it's wisdom. I go up to him and pull out my book, open it, Oof. and a page. Magic comes out of a page. And tap on the shoulder as I cast guidance. Oh, on Garrow? Yeah. Uh, so he is a little bit worrisome as he sees you chanting, clutching at his spear. Uh, but as you cast the spell and the magic affects him, he looks at you curiously and says, What did you do? I would a little bit of a magic, help. Right? I really wish you'd just answer my questions, weird one. Uh, well, thank you for the help, whatever it was. 
I'm pretty sure I recognize that spell, Garrett. It, it, it just helps you, don't worry. Okay. Uh, so he continues, uh, or I assume you're all going with Garrow unless you want to speak, uh, if you want, uh, he can stop for a bit to let you speak with this new person, but he seems kind of annoyed. We can walk and talk. Yeah, okay. let's move along. We walk don't want to spend much time down here if we don't have to. So, uh, these friends of yours, what, what were you doing in this area anyway? It wasn't really friends that I was working for. Well, Calgary and I was working for friends that I will make. But, to the point, I am looking for interesting people with unique abilities to help me with something. That sounds like us. What can we help you with? <laughs> um... I have too many secrets, and that's one of them. <laughs> well, How do you propose propose that we help if we do not know what you need? This is why I don't help like you. Help me help you. Let me just put it this way. Save the universe from itself. What was Garrow <laughs> trying to say there? Sorry. Garrow just whispers, this is why I don't like him. <laughs> Garrow's like at the front of the group like muttering under his breath yeah he's like oh god uh, he's yeah he's looking down side caves uh, and he says make sure you keep your voice as quiet as quiet as you can um, I'm gonna go ahead and I Zompi's think gonna uh, become in invisible go and become a bat again and she'll stay up there with <clears throat> Garrow to help keep a lookout so it's been a few more hours of traveling it's getting late uh, when Garo kind of puts his hand up and says, I think I see a light up ahead. Perhaps another another stranger wandering these caves. This one doesn't seem to be moving, though. And uh, as you move forward, you would indeed see that uh, the area up ahead is lit up. Shall, uh, should Ramti, Ramti check it out? Yeah, Otto keeps his voice low. That's definitely the uh, best course of action. Okay. He says, "I can I'll often, I can often hear your familiar. It's a bit, uh, I don't want to say loud, but I can hear it flapping. I don't know if there's someone else with uh, better ability to hide." Oh, well, she'll become a she'll become a centipede then, and and crawl along the ceiling. Okay, uh, she would still need a stealth check, but I'd probably okay. give her advantage for being that tiny. Oh. oh. Uh, all right. So she takes some time, very carefully. Although she moves uh, pretty quick, right? Um, the like speed 40 is the feet. only thing that changes with the shape change. Yeah. So climb well, is yeah forty feet. So yeah. Yeah. So she's like a freight train centipede. <laughs> <laughs> like that would be like out of a friggin' horror movie. You're just walking down a tunnel and it's like da -da -da -da. what the. Ah! It just comes out of nowhere. Uh, I think she's invisible because, like, a, a multi-legged insect, a, a many-legged insect yeah. coming at you that fast would be oh, horrifying. That, that's so creepy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if being invisible would make it more or less creepy. You just hear a bunch of legs and you're looking around frantically. What's going on? Horrifying. Pure uh, predator shit. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but she moves along the ceiling into the cave up ahead, where you would see, looking through her eyes, there are continual flame uh, castings on stones lying in the dust. Uh, it doesn't look like anyone's been in here for a long time. Uh, and in the center of the cave, there is a large metallic thing, is the best way I can describe it. You've never seen anything like this. So I'll have her kind of do a, a pass kind of around the, the cave just to see, make sure there isn't anything else to be noticed. Then I will relay these descriptions to those around me in a low voice. Okay. Uh, would that thing sound, like, does sound any familiar to Eldwin? Uh, so not to you. However, for the artificers in the group... It sounds like some kind of machine. Bro. <laughs> it 
I, 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 it, it just occurred to me that we probably had to lower like Hassan down through like that trap door. <laughs> Or we just let him uh, thud down. He just jumps down. <laughs> He's a bunny. He can he can help. He just makes a big clang. Uh, <laughs> uh, stealthiest of us all. <laughs> Garrow says, uh, this is a side tunnel. We don't have to go this way. Uh, the light makes me a bit uneasy. There might be something dangerous here. Um, Would I recognize the, the, the nature of the continuous flame? Uh, Self. so, you, do you have Arcana or Religion? I do. I have Arcana. Yeah, so you would probably recognize the spell. Um, so I would say that, you know... Yeah, Continual they... Flame is a, uh, second level Artifice or Cleric Druid wizard spell. Um, so yeah, you know that the flame, uh, or a spell was used to create a, uh, permanent light source and put on these, oh. these rocks. So I would say, hoo -hoo, hoo -hoo, the light source is, is unending. It's hard to know when, how long this has been here or when the chamber was used last. It could be another relic from the old. Oh, uh, sorry, one other thing. What is Romti's per passive perception? Would it be the same um, as hers if she's looking through? Or yours, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm, yeah, mine would be 24. Uh, there, her, uh, yeah. there are bones in the area. Probably humanoid. In, in this chamber? Probably. Yeah, like around this machine, you would notice, like, it looks um, like uh, like little uh, groupings of probably a corpse uh, was there at one point. Now it's just bones. Oh, just like, when you say bones, it's like a creature, not like a bunch of bones everywhere. Uh, there's several sets of them. Uh, so you uh, you would count with your 22. You I don't count have medicine. Yeah. yeah, you would count seven groupings of bones. Probably seven individuals okay. died here at some point. So I will share that with the group, and Ramti will start um, crawling back. And I will come back to my senses. Okay. Garrow uh, shrugs. He says, uh, well, as I said, we can skip this, but I'm assuming you all will want to see what this is. What do you it think, Onyx? Um, oh. I, I'm here. Sorry, I was, I was uh, in the middle of something. Um, I I would like to investigate this, and um, I'm thinking with my ADHD, I would probably already be heading toward the sounds. Okay. Wait, 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 there's no sounds. I don't think was there. The light, oh, I thought yeah. it was light. Yeah. Oh. Don't go to the light. I, I thought I, for some reason I thought you said we heard a clanging sound. All right, sorry. No, just sounds. Uh, just uh, light up ahead. I think we were joking about what sounds uh, Hassan probably made when we came down the trapdoor. Uh, <laughs> dropping. Yeah, we were just like yeah. we were talking about how we realized there was no way he climbed down the rope. Well, how did we know it was a machine? Uh, from the Rumpy description, look, yeah. from what she said, it sounded like some sort of metal machine, yeah. like Hassan might be. All right, I, I, I'm heading toward it. Oh, and this is uh, Edward, by the way. Okay, so you all are heading in that direction. Uh, give me one moment. Uh, I hope so you realize you're, you're going to be called Ed forever. <laughs> oh, and I just realized oh. I have to give Edward his stats. Mm -hmm. Will forever be Ed. Well, you probably say somewhere down the line, it seems you are trustworthy people, so we're friends. And my friends called me Sitreed. Siggy, got it. Um, Sid Freed. Nice. Sick Freak, got it. <laughs> so we'll call you Siggy for sure, got it. <laughs> oh, God. This is going to... Honestly, <laughs> this is actually going to be fun. <laughs> uh, and you can weird. see 60 feet in the dark, right? Half-elf. 
uh, yes. double sight. Oh, uh, 120. 120, yeah. Okay, it's as something. long as... As long as there's no light source. Yeah, yeah. that's what I learned. Uh, that, yeah, I saw yeah. that thing as well. That blew me weird. away. I'm like, I get it. It is devil's sight. It's meant to be creepy. But it makes it so much weaker. Yeah, oh. it also is really hard to simulate with the Roll20 tools, unfortunately. Yeah. Yep. Well, luckily with Otto, he has both 120 feet of dark vision and double sight so he can switch back and forth <laughs> yeah it's like just putting on different lenses how dare you <laughs> normal how dare infrared. you normal infrared it's like when you go to a power it's like yeah let's swap hey, it you're... between night vision and bloody thermal vision <laughs> effectively <laughs> alright yeah, sorry I'm the best vision my putting you all on my characters have ever had except for when I have Twilight Cleric <laughs> Uh, Eldwin, Anvir, and uh, you said you wanted me to keep you in the background for now, Onyx. Right? I've... Yeah, and, and until we stumble upon something. If combat starts, then of course he, he wants to place himself and stuff like that. But... Okay, so uh, up ahead, as you're coming down this tunnel... Uh, you start to see what you think Romti saw. A the large machine. metal machine. And I'll put Onyx on now just to give you an idea. Uh, and the area up ahead is lit up. So what do you all want to do? Uh, I guess we start checking out the machine, yes? I imagine Onyx is just mindlessly walking towards it. Good. Yeah. Okay. I'm just... Yeah, I'm fascinated, and I'm just like, kind of, oh, wow, I've never seen something like this. This, yeah. that's incredible. It's safe to assume Onyx is like five feet away from that thing already. <laughs> yeah, if there is any danger in the area, I have not at all noticed. <laughs> slow. <laughs> just, uh, just so slow. yeah, you would start to see that there are bones around the ship as you get closer. Uh, can that? Sorry. Can anyone tell if these look recent or not? No, they look like they've been here for a long time. Oh, good. That is somewhat reassuring, actually. <laughs> Can we tell, like, I mean, me as a person, that looks kind of shippish to me, but like... Yeah, it's hard to say, uh, the art, so anyone who sees it can make an arcana check. The artificers, uh, would probably have advantage on this. <laughs> <laughs> Plus all oh, that one. Let's go. That Lupin's uh, uh or Siegfried seems confused. Uh so Onyx, it looks like some sort of vessel to you, but you're completely you have no idea how it would work being in a cave. Like you have no idea how it even got in here. That is very uh, curious. Uh, so as Romti see... flies over oh, there, I see uh, something. everyone freeze, oh, oh, and oh, no. something says uh, uh, intruders detected in the area. Shh, and you hear a bunch of stone grinding on stone. I need initiative rolls. So she didn't set it off when she circled the room before, but she did this time? Uh, she didn't see no. that thing before. I don't know if she oh. got this close last time. Oh, because I had said that she would circle the chamber, but like, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, what? Well, there wasn't a map, so. <clears throat> Ooh, nice evil. Hmm. That's for uh, Nicola. 
Oh, not for me. That's my Yeah. So, <laughs> Rocky got a nat one and Otto got a nat twenty. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I love it, my friend. All right. So the first act as this thing starts moving, uh, the owl familiar, which I don't think it has any commands yet, so it's probably just going. It does not. It's probably just going to chillax there. Yeah. Uh, flying around. Ooh, Eldwin. Um, uh, but I even know that this is happening yet. Oh yeah, you definitely heard something big moving back here. All right. In that case. I heard something, but I don't know what it is yet, so I'm not going to Blade Song, so that's... Uh... 15... Uh... 25... 30... Oh, and then I'll be able to see... Yep. ...that thing. It's like, um, guys, anyone know anything about a big, it look like it's metal or stone? Uh, it looks like it's made of stone. Alright, it's like, anyone know anything about a big stone person? <laughs> Alright, anything else? Uh, I'm going... I don't really understand what this is, so I'm going to, uh, hold, like, mm. yeah, I'm just going to pass my turn then, because. Alright, do you want to take the dodge action? Also, All you right. don't have any weapons out. I don't know if that matters. Oh, sorry. I have to do that. I always forget to do that. Uh, but yeah, I'll do the dodge action. All right, auto. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Something is moving in the cave. Um, I'll move five, <laughs> 10, 15, 20, 20, see if I can get a look. Um, don't want to get in front of my look, it'll only scare you. <laughs> I see an arm. Um, so I'm going to go <laughs> ahead and put emboldening bond on Eldwin, Onyx, and is Ovlo going to be fighting? Uvlo, oh yeah, that's right, you're here now, like, sorry. I'm so sorry, I was still thinking about earlier when we were short one. Was, okay, so yeah, yeah. Ovlo. Yeah. <laughs> just your... walks away. Ovlo's like, no, nope, <laughs> I'm sitting this one out, guys. <laughs> I'm out, oh, tapping out. Let you guys handle it. You guys got this. <laughs> Peace! <laughs> I have so faith you in you. Get <laughs> and um, I think that's all. That's my turn. Okay. Um, I will tell Romti to. Uh, um, actually, I'm, Romti has no commands for this. Just stay hidden, because we don't know yet what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Uh... Oh, sorry. Just give me one moment. Hey. Oh, have you started using the book for Shield of Faith, have you? Uh, so, at the end of Otto's turn... Um, oh, never mind. Uh, Anvir, what are you going to do? Uh, that is a great question, isn't it? You see I... this thing starting to stand up. And you hear a bunch of stone grinding from it. I don't... No. I'm assuming none of us know what the hell this thing even is. Uh, Arcana might tell you more as a bonus action. I am not trained in Arcana. Okay, then you probably have no idea. Um, I'm just going to start crapping myself then, and I shall put a moonbeam down. Alright, so you chant summoning a moonbeam. Yep, that's still not working properly, so I'll just do that and manually. Ok. 
get all my stuff sorted. But that's fine, because it means it won't roll the dice immediately. Uh, if it's not working, as uh, was yeah, stated, I'll you probably want to delete it and re-pull it yeah. onto your spell sheet. Yeah, I haven't had this problem out. with uh, with anyone, so I don't have a good troubleshooting step for it. Yeah, that that's all good. I'll figure that out. Okay. Uh, uh, and I'm just going to chuck it right there, so if he starts coming towards us, he'll have to walk through it. Okay. So, for its turn... It is going to stand up uh, and you see several runes on it begin to glow uh, and it says uh, defense protocols enabled and it points its hand at Eldwin and suddenly three eldritch blasts come flying out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, just a reminder, disadvantage. Yeah, because you were dodging. Well, that's probably good. Uh, and... Uh, it's whispering again, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, here we go. Uh, luckily, I believe it missed with all three. Uh, Technically... No, two of them would hit, but I'm going to shield, and so they will miss. Really? Did your AC go down a bunch? I thought it was higher. He's not using blade song. I'm not, oh, I'm he's not, not blade singing. Ah, right, right. I'm uh, only at 16. All right, so as the uh, shots are coming at you, uh, you go, oh, crap, and throw up a shield, knocking them back. Uh, the creature then starts moving south. Uh... Dangerous spell detected and stops there. Uh, Uvlo. You bastard, how dare you be smart? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I have no clue what's going on right now, correct? Well, you heard all that and you just saw a bunch what? of shots fly past Eldwin. So I think you oh, have yeah. a pretty good idea of something's going on. You probably see <laughs> on via right now just going, oh god, oh god! Uh, so. Would I be able to move right there, 30 feet, or I don't know what the movement requirement is through friendly people. Uh, it is double movement. Is same, as, same as usual, yeah. If you move through an allied square, it is difficult terrain, because you have to kind of slow down to get past them. Cool. Uh, next question... Uh, well, I guess as my action, I'm going to activate my armor. Or, it was already activated, wasn't it? When yeah, yeah. I came across Siegfried. I believe so, uh, yeah. So. Cool. Uh, so then I still have an action. Uh, do I know anything about what this thing is? Uh, do you have a bonus action still? I do have a bonus action. I do have my action as well. So give me an Arcana check. Oh, good Arcana check. Uh, so you would know a bit about it. Uh, it looks like a golem, which you've seen before. Uh, you also think the actual uh, form of this golem looks very strange to you. Uh, you, th it's it's definitely not any of the. Uh, do you have history? I do not believe so. Okay. History, history, history. Oh, I do, yes. Uh, give me a history check. 19? Oh, good rolls. Uh, this golem's uh, structure makes you think it is a piece of technology from a long lost city known as Nightweather. Which is... Uh, a lot of people don't believe even exists. Uh, so it sounds like I will use my six seconds of conversation to heal to the rest of the party. It's a, a golem from the long lost city of Nightweather. Maybe we should uh, back up and get behind me and 
prepare for a fight. Um, and so as an action, I will cast Blur on myself. And I use my bonus action. Uh, so, and I don't know if I need a bonus action to command Nicola, but I'm going to yell at him to stay back. All right. Anything else? And that'll be all, so I'm concentrating now. All right, so at the end of your turn, the creature is going to aim at you and fire a like blast. This. Oh. 24. Oh. All right, what so you at? are... I assume that's going to hit you. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. So I'm at 20. Where is... Oh, are you going to shield? Let me see. Oopsies. Nope, that's the wrong one. Uh, where did you go? Arcane deflection. Does that work? Gives me... Plus two. Uh, yeah. So then I guess I will have to shield. Oh, All right. So as you are being shot at, you see one coming at you and you quickly throw up a shield, deflecting that as well. Uh, Onyx. Okay. Um, I missed, I apologize, I missed everything that happened to this point because I got a phone call. Uh, so... Big Golem want to destroy. Big Golem. From Has Long anyone? City of Night Weather. <laughs> Night Weather, you say? Hmm. And this is a Moonbeam, or yeah, what is that it? is a Moonbeam. That is a Moonbeam. Okay. Uh, I am far away from that. Okay. Um, let me get Hassan on. I thought he would walk through it. He was smarter than that. Lou, do you care where I put Hassan? Uh, I mean, I assume he'd be near you somewhere. Got it. He was probably lagging behind a bit. Um, yeah, I guess it will take my attention away from admiring the machine. So I will... Well, he has been blasting energy blasts at your allies. Oh yeah, he's been doing oh, a lot of e-blasts. And he did one at the end of a turn of someone else's. I, I don't have anything for range, so I guess I'm going to um, draw my knee rapier. And I should already have my sword and uh, my shield out. Sorry. Um, uh, the rocks for diff difficult terrain. Yes. Uh, Fifteen. Let's Twenty. Move forward a bit. Uh, I need yep, as far as I can get with a regular move. Yeah. Um. Man. I will. I will cast a spell. I'm gonna You're cast. Just my moonbeam. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> yep. I'm dispelling moonbeam. That's the plan. I'm gonna. Oh shoot. Uh, I need. I need an action from you. What are you gonna do? I'm sorry. I'm casting a uh, ray of frost. Alright, so you point at the creature chanting. Uh, he, I don't think, has resistance to cold. Uh, no, he does not. Uh, so he is a uh, 23 wood strike. Uh, you blast him with some cold. Uh, how much does he take? Nine cold damage. Mine uh, cold, and his movement speed is reduced by 10 feet. Okay. Uh, anything for Hassan on his turn? Uh, I'll have him move up well, next to me. Well, ha uh, hang on for a sec. So you are going to use your bonus action to give him a uh, command, because he isn't going yet. He hasn't gone yet. It's not his turn. 
Okay. Um, I would I would have him move up next to me, but I, I don't have a. He can't reach the guy, so I won't have him do a bonus action. Okay, so you give him a command as a bonus action. Uh, no, he, he's just dodging. I don't give him a command. Okay, so he's staying there for now. Uh, at the end of your turn, the creature is going to look at you uh, and say, hostile magic detected. He's going to fire an Eldritch Blast. Oh, that's not good. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, oh, no. So that, that you, uh, yeah, you take a force blast midsection for 20 force damage. Uh, now yep. ha- Hassan goes. Uh, so he's going to stand there and dodge. At the end of Hassan's turn, uh, he is yeah. going to blast at you again. Or at least try <laughs> to. Uh, 22. Um... I'll I'll shield. All right, so that one you get up in time and are able to shield. Uh, and now it is Hassan. Well, Hassan's turn. Pass. Siegfried. What are you gonna do? Um, I go over to these rocks over here and just sit down. As for my bonus action, braids start to turn around me as I cast braids on. All right. Oh, cast it. So you do some uh, chanting and gesturing. Go ahead and link Blade Song. Oh wait, uh, you're using the Blade Song ability. Okay. Uh, yeah. Go ahead and mark yourself as Blade Singing, please. I it's, know what that. Yeah. If you look at the uh, the markings, uh, I think it's towards the top of the list. Found it. It's alphabetical. It's in, yeah, it's in alphabetical order. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, yeah. Then I use my action as my body starts to drimmer and I cast Mage Armor. Uh, Alright, so you cast Mage Armor, increasing your AC. Uh, anything else? Nope. Uh, so at the end of your turn, uh, the Golem is looking around. Uh, shielded targets detected. Secondary caster firing. Uh, a bolt comes flying at you, Onvir. But luckily, I imagine I have a good amount of cover from this. Yep, you're like, whoop, as it flies past a bunch of your allies. Wasn't a very good shot, anyway. Uh, Romti goes. Out of out of just because I wish to be a dick. Would Romti get hit by that? Uh, no. Uh, he did not roll high enough, and Romti wasn't the primary cover. Okay. I wasn't sure. Yeah. No, uh, Onyx was the one who might have been hit by... Or, uh, Eldwin was the one who might have been hit. Eldwin or Onyx, Romti's farther back. Plus, yeah. I think he's on the ceiling, anyway. Oh, yeah, he would be, wouldn't he? Yeah, he's yeah, in... She's a, she's a tiny bug, and she's on the ceiling, yeah. yeah. I was gonna ask you, actually, on her turn, what the height of the ceiling in here was. Uh, it's between 15 and 20 feet. Okay, so just put that on there. I didn't want to use the little fly symbol because she's not bat, so I'm using a little snail as her millipede. But yeah. I told her just to stay back on my turn because I didn't know what was really going on, so she's just going to stay away. Creepy bug That's on the cool. ceiling. All right, mm-hmm. uh, what is your owl familiar doing? Uh, I think that is Uvlo. That is mine. Because it is a uh, new round. Staying back is what I ordered him to do. Okay. Stay back, figure it out. So, so I guess dodge. It continues to stay back. Uh, Eldwin. Alright. <laughs> so I'm going to activate my blade song. Okay. And... You begin your Song of the Blades as you become quicker. And uh, I'm going to move over here. Okay. And on the Golem, I will cast at second level uh, Scorching Ray. 
Alright, so you send several scorching rays uh, screaming towards him as your spell finishes. Uh, I think it's, you said second level, right? Yes, it's three. Okay, in the uh, spell description here. Uh, so the first one hits him, uh, the other two uh, would not. So he is scorched a bit by fire damage. Uh, taking four points of fire. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that is it for my turn. Okay. Otto. Looks like Ooh. his uh, his four symbols that were glowing are out of juice for now, as he's not blasting anymore. Okay. Um, these rocks is this very tall? This pile? Uh, it's like two like, feet. Could it provide some cover. It's like well, two-ish feet, for so known. for you, yeah, that would probably give cover. <laughs> Alright, so he'll pop over here and, um, uh, let's do some e-blasts. Is, um, Siegfried prone? He is, yeah. Uh, He's sitting, sitting down. on the rocks. Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah, that's right. Okay, I did hear that. Alright, so... It's a bit harder to hear. Yeah. Well, not um, one, and you hit me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Twenty will blast with the first, uh, and seventeen will blast as well with the second, doing six, nine plus another blast, right? Nine, eighteen points. All right. And then I will push him um, twenty feet. So he is pushed all the way back. And then I will. Duck down here behind the rocks. Uh, all right, Anvir. Mistake again. It's going right oh. on you, buddy. I would tell Romsey to on her next turn. Um, so uh, you you would notice as you get close to the ship, his uh, eyes start glowing red, and he's looking at you. Uh oh. <laughs> Oh, when I got close? Yeah, when you got basically okay. where you're standing now. Oh, okay. Um, so I would tell Romsey that if the golem comes back towards Eldwin um, to become a bat and Harry. Okay. Uh, so, Anvir, you moved your uh, your spell on him. Is there anything else? I shall... Do nothing. I... Hemp! to cast a spell, but I don't think I will. I think I will actually just move to, like, just behind Uvla. <laughs> okay. And otherwise, that will be my turn. Alright, so on the creature's turn, it must make a con save, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, it seems to be resistant to your spell. Luckily, it fails anyway, taking eight points of searing damage. An old radiant. Uh, so it's going. You see the four runes on it start glowing again. And it's going to come forward. 30 feet. Uh, it's fists. Oh. Oh. Uh, it comes at you swinging its fists. 19, Eldwin? Uh, nope. Yeah. Oh, natural one. It stumbles a bit. Uh, and, uh, says, uh, proximity warning. Proximity warning as it looks at Otto. Uh, that is it for the creature, Uvlo. Uh, I guess first I'm gonna yell out, uh, it seems to be defending the spaceship. Um, and then next is a question to you. Do I know if Dispel Magic will do anything to this guy? Uh, no, golems are not affected by Dispel Magic. Cool. Then, in that case would be great though. 10, 15, 
20. I guess 25 feet there. Well, Onyx has a rapier. Uh, can I punch this guy from where I'm at right now? Yep. Cool. Then I will use my action to apply my thunder gauntlets wherever they are. Where did they go? Uh, yeah, 19 will strike, punching him for 6 points of damage. I will punch him a second time. Nope, that would just clang off of his hard outer shell. Ow, my fist. Uh, and then, uh, bonus action. I don't think telekinetic show work against him. Uh, okay. But I will try to telekinetically shove it. Uh, that's what, a strength save? Uh, yes. Uh, oh. nope. <laughs> he is unimpressed by your shove. Doesn't surprise me. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I guess with the last two seconds, I will say, yeah, maybe we should spread out. Uh, now, if he, if he doesn't attack you, he is going to get disadvantage, right? Correct. So he starts moving much quicker suddenly as one of the runes disappear, and he says, target locked, and he swings at you. Uh, 17 versus AC would miss as you uh, yep. block it with the shield. Onyx. Okay. Uh, since I don't know yet that stabbing it with the rapier is not going to do a whole lot, I will step forward and stab it with the rapier. Okay, and this is the non-magical one? No, plus this one. is the plus one that uh, Edwin just gave me. Edwin just gave oh, alright. I keep calling you Edwin. <clears throat> okay, so you stab at the creature with the rapier. There it is. Uh, 18 will strike it. Doing 7 points of damage. It does seem affected by it. Oh, okay. Good. Here comes a second. Yeah, I just didn't know if it would be resistant to piercing damage or something. Oh, oh nice. Oh, wow. That's a crit. Hey. Yeah, that's a lot of crits. Bam, 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 that's bam, a, bam, bam. That's clean living right there. Right. Right. 11 more. Yeah. And, and I will ones for the rest of the game. Yep, yep. yep. And I will tell Hassan to run up to this square and attack with my bonus action. Um, so he'll do that on his turn if you want to do anything at the end of my turn. Okay, yeah, at the end of your turn, he is going to have another symbol disappear. As he takes a shot at Uvalol again. Or at least attempts to. Uh, nope. Terrible rolls. Uh, Alright, so Hassan goes. He's going to hop yep. hop over here. And did you say blast him or just move there? Uh, I'll go ahead and have him blast. Okay. Uh, no, nope. oh, that would nope. bounce off of his hide. Uh, and at the end yep. of Hassan's turn, there is another punch coming at Uvlal. Hassan will give him disadvantage. Oh, oh. Shoot. <laughs> so Hassan gives him disadvantage, but he is determined with this it hit. Does not matter. Uh, do you gonna do anything, <laughs> Uvlal? I think I'm going to. Let it hit me and use my repulsion shield. Okay. So you are punched for 18 bludgeoning. Uh, and repulsion shield is going to push, push him, him 15? 15 feet. Okay. So he goes back here. Would have been great. Uh, and that's it for Hassan Siegfried. 
Uh, is there like a rock, a small rock on the ground? Yeah, there's a bunch of them. I point at one, and then I look at the creature. Wrong target, fellow, as I quickly point back to the ship, and I cast Catapult. You're attacking the ship? Yep. Alright, so the rock... Uh, go ahead and give me an attack roll. Where is Catapult? Yeah, it does. I am doing it at first level. Alright, so as you attack the ship, something odd happens. Uh, you see several more runes light up on him, and he says, Extreme Measures Authorized. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit! Okay, uh, didn't see that coming. You uh, do indeed strike the ship for 16 bludgeoning, as there's a big dent in it now. Clang. Uh, at the end of your turn, he is going to try to blast you with uh, disadvantage, because of Uvlo. Oh. Oh, and, and cover. Uh, yeah, <laughs> cover, disadvantage. So we what? got. Um, yeah. So there are several oh, no. more glowing markings on him now. Oh, no. Oh. Uh, oh. Fire, oh. fire. Oh. So he blasts next to you. Uh, that is it for Siegfried Romti. Um, so I told her to become a bat, which is an action, um, and then she'll Harry on her next turn. Okay. Uh, the owl. He fire, did he fire the elder bash at me? Or yes, he fired it at you. Uh, yeah. Would the owl be allowed to fly over by auto? I didn't command it. Uh, yeah, you can. You can. So you can speak to it at any time after your turn passes for the first round. Okay. So yeah, you can give it commands mentally right now. Because giving cool. it commands, I think, is a free action for uh, familiars. Okay. I was not sure about that. 60 feet. Uh, so I guess Nicola is going to fly there and fly as high as he can in the cave. And okay. shoot a few times. And that'll be Nicola's turn. Alright, Eldwin. Alright, uh, I am going, uh, for my action, I'm going to cast Haste on myself. Okay. Uh, do, I to, do I need a token for Haste, or is it just a thing? Uh, I think there is actually something for Haste. If not, uh, maybe not. Uh, so you can just put a timer and concentration on yourself, if which, uh, yeah, because I don't see anything for haste. I should probably... Oh, no, there is. There is a haste marking. Uh, it's the bunny. The so bunny? it's under H. Uh, yeah, there it is. It's right up. Between grapple oh, and... Yep, I see it. Just think. Bunny. Hassan. Exactly. Hasten. <laughs> Hasten. I was going to Hasten. You're doing, your, doing the thing. I Austin. got it. Oh, yeah. Austin. Uh, and... Oh, so I got to... Austin, my more like Austin. Well. Uh, I'm going to uh, then just use... I'm going to run up. And for my hasted action, I'm going to stab him by rapier, uh, using alleys and bolding rod for the one hit. Okay. So, uh, so add it plus two. two. Oh. Oh, the uh, the little bar that you that you added to my token. I was updated with the plus two, so I'll just. Have to go in here. Oh no! Eleven, unfortunately, would not be enough, and he would dodge that one. Or you would just—you thir- would just poke his body. <laughs> Nothing happens. I'm guessing a thirteen doesn't hit either. No, thirteen does not either. All right. In that case, I'm gonna tr- then run back into the line. Just getting an oppie. 
Oh yeah, he will use his reaction to Oppie. 23. Wow. <laughs> Man, that's one over there. Yeah, I would, I would shield. Alright, so use your reaction to shield the Oppie. What they're there for. Uh, that is it for you. Eldwin's turn is ending. Otto. Otto will use 10 feet to stand up and. Um. There's a lot of cover. Um. I guess I'll move a little bit north and. Try and pew pew. And right. as I'm shooting, I'm gonna like look over at Uvalol because he said something about like he, he called out something about a spaceship. And I'm gonna be like, what the heck is a spaceship? What the Question. heck is a spaceship? And... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, let me try that. What again. is a ship? There it goes. Oh. Well, you probably oh. know what. There's, there's all those ones. I've only heard of right. some stories. So you send some blasts over, but they would just fly past him. Poop. All right, that's my turn. All right. Uh, I'll call Rompu to get Harry on this turn. Uh, that is it for you, Onvir. Uh, that thing looks like it's hitting hard, so I'm going to use Twilight Sanctuary. Okay. So a dark field starts to emanate from you. I'd also move up. I'm going to set that field up now. Have I seen a Twilight Cleric? Uh, you... Uh, if you don't have religion, probably don't know what's going on. Nope. You're like, what the hell? As all these dark uh, shadows start to engulf the area. It's filled with lovely little stars as well. All right, so the is interesting, interesting. Uh, is that uh, it for you, Onvir? I'll also do. I'll do a spiritual weapon, which still doesn't want to actually do things for me, but that's fine. I have a things that are for it. Right, so you cast spiritual weapon as a glowing weapon would appear, I assume, next to him. Yeah. Uh, 20 would like strike, no. doing 11. Okay. And that will be my turn. Alright, so on his turn, the four runes light up, in addition to all the others that are glowing now, uh, and he would say, uh, uh, Area countermeasures approved. And he puts his hand forward, and you oh, see a shit. white light appear on it. No. Oh, you don't need to do this. Are you gonna die? Uh, there oh. is a blast of freezing oh, energy God. that rips through the group. Oh. Uh, I need a con save. Ignore the DC there. Uh, the DC is actually. Uh, 14. Do I have to uh, cast uh, Absorb Elements before this? Uh, you can cast <laughs> Absorb Elements as a reaction. Because that is a reaction spell. Well, do I have to do it before my con save, or can I do it after my con oh, save? Oh, uh, you can... You would have to do it now, before the damage is applied. Okay, and um, do I have to do the 1d4 from Otto before, or can I do it before my con save, or do I have to Oh, do actually, it? I think you can do it after your con save. Okay, um, well... Wait, so you would be doing it in response to the damage hitting you. Uh, yeah, you can do it after your con save. Cool. What'd you say? I, I am, I'm using... Sorry, I'm using the emboldening bond. Alright, so Romti doesn't need to make one. Strangely enough, the, when the cone gets there, it's only the three of you. But everyone else uh, would have to make a con save. 
Am I able to use Arcane Deflection as well? E well... No, because that would be a reaction. Be reaction. So that would be two reactions. So you could use one or the other. Uh, well, I pr prefer Arcane Deflection. Okay. Oh no. It's made a 12, which I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, Anvir, uh, you would have gotten to give yourself some temp HP before this hit. Oh yeah, I calculated that. Okay. I took the full damage. Alright, so yeah, go ahead and apply you the... absorb elements if it's possible? Yes, you can use your reaction to absorb elements this. Uh, so yeah, 14 would make it. If you got a 14 or over, you took um, 23, or else you would take the full 47. Oh, take down. Would I take uh, 23 also since I absorbed it? Uh, yes, if you failed the save, then you could use absorb to take half damage. As long yeah. as you spent your reaction. Yeah. Uh, so 20 foot, I couldn't do that because I used my reaction, right? Yeah. I also, also, my reaction I also. also mattered, so I'd rather use my reaction on absorb elements than arcane deflection. Okay. If possible. So that is it for him. So, uh, lost moonbeam. Okay, so yeah, your moonbeam would fizzle out. Uh, and anyone else holding a spell, make sure, uh, I don't know if any of you can make that save, but you uh -huh. can try. Eldwin. Hi. Yeah, I made it. Hey, Haze is still up. Alright, Uvlol. Let me make a con save on... Oh, oh one of the uh, one of the runes went out when he did that spell. Okay. Uh, con save. Oh, for holding the spell. That was for how yeah, much did you take? For holding blur, I took uh, half damage. So that was twenty three. All right. So the DC was eleven. Yeah. So you're fine. You only needed eleven. <laughs> well, if he took the forty seven, that would have actually failed. Oh yeah. Well, I'm glad I didn't do that then. Yeah, yeah I needed a, what, 23 to succeed mine? <laughs> I That's, think so. I, I don't think I can roll that high. I don't think it was worth me rolling. No, I can only go 22 max. <laughs> I'd have to roll a 19 to get that. Alright, so Uvlo, you rush up. I rush up and I am going to punch him. Alright, you take a punch at him as uh, you run up. He, uh, go ahead, give me an attack roll. Uh, yeah, 26 will strike. And then I'm gonna use... Er, well, shoot, I get one of Otto's things per turn, right? Yes. You have to call it before. And you do have then to call it before the attack. I will use my um, one-time D4, this punch. Okay. Oh. Oh. I don't think it matters. No, that would bounce okay. off his uh, armor. Were you saying something, Otto? Um, it doesn't strictly say whether emboldening bond continues when I'm unconscious. It would, because unless it's concentration, spell effects it's you create not, yeah. do still continue to the duration. Uh, you okay. don't have to, it, it's up to your, the people you put them on to use them. You don't have to control that. Uh, so Uvalol finishes his turn. At the end of his turn... Is Otto unconscious? Yes. Oh yeah, is. that that cone of oh, gold was more, hit, more than his maximum hit points. <laughs> oh Jesus! You squishy little know. boy. Uh, Uvalol twenty three versus AC at the end of your turn. Twenty three versus AC. Uh, I guess I will. Eat. Man. Uh. Uh, would he get his temp HP before the attack? Uh, oh, good question. I'm gonna say they both happen at the end of the turn, so sure, I'll say you can get those before the attack. 13. So you have temp 13. HP in case it does hit you. Cool. Then I'm gonna let it hit me, and I will use a radiant weapon this time. Okay, so he punches you for 18. So you take 5 damage. And I'm radiant weapon... On save against my spell save. Alright, so you spend your reaction and he has to make a con save. 
This isn't magical, I don't think. No. Seems more like a technological thing. Yeah, like, it's like a flash of light. It's kind of flashlight kind of thing, yeah. Flashbang. Uh, well, he uh, is unimpressed, uh, and that is it for <laughs> Uvlo, right? His eyes are fake. Right? Yeah, he doesn't actually have eyes. Uh, Onyx. Destroy, destroy, so destroy. First I freak out at seeing my bunny go down, but then as I wheel around, I see Otto lying on the ground, Hassan, too. Hassan's in a block of ice right now. Oh, no. Oh, that's gonna uh, be a pain to fix. Uh, Andrea, let me buy. Five, ten. Oh, it's gonna get steam metal. I'm going to uh, use a healing a healer kit on Otto. Okay. Sixteen HP. Thank you much. So Otto, You're you welcome uh. Much. You see Onyx over you, uh, desperately trying to bring you back from the brink with his uh, healing salves, and you feel much better. Um, wishing I had other bonus action spells. You didn't have a weapon, did you, Otto? I did not. Okay, so well, not in my hand. Right yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. Uh, right. Well, I guess, I guess I'll move back to where I was using the rest of my movement. Okay. So Onyx's turn is ending, if that matters to anyone. Okay, you gain eleven. Uh, Hassan is currently destroyed. Siegfried. Um, as I'm seeing there, I see the gnome get up. So I turn my attention back to it as energy forms around my hand and I do like a gun thing and shoot an Eldritch Bash at it. Alright, pew pew, so you send some Eldritch Blasts flying at it. There's a god wizard. Uh, uh, the first would miss, but 21 would strike it. Pew. That's the wrong thing. There we go. Seven force damage. All right. Uh, so as you strike it, you see some cracks form in it. Uh, and it says, uh, danger uh, detected, imminent destruction. Uh, and you see another rune light up on it. Uh -oh. oh, no. <laughs> uh, oh, at, oh. The, at the end of Siegfried's turn, it's going to try to punch Evelo. Oh, you doing something else? Yeah, uh, bonus action. Energy forms around, and I do like a little poof of AO as I try to cast, to cast, uh, use my ability, and try to shove them back five feet. Telekinetic. Telekinetic. All right. Yep. Uh, so strength save. Uh, sixteen, I believe that fails. Uh, well, it would be 19 with his advantage, because there's a magical effect, I it's believe, magic. right? Uh, I don't know, with his abilities? It's, it's definitely magic. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I, it's not, it's spells and other magical effects, so I'm going to say that's probably magic. Um, so at the end of his turn, he's going to take another punch at Uvlal. Wow. Shoot. Uh, yeah, 17 would miss as your shield keeps him back. Siegfried. Or oh, wait, Siegfried went. Uh, so Siegfried's turn is ending. Temp HP. Uh, Romti. Fly by. Harry. Uh, isn't around he, his head. Isn't he centipede form? Uh, last turn, he used his act she used her action to become a bat. Oh, okay. That's why she didn't do anything else last turn. Uh, so he is harried, uh, at the end of her turn, uh, he says familiar detected, and he's going to take a shot at her at disadvantage. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, you need to go to town Rampi. soon. I don't have oh, a lot why? of charcoal left. <laughs> uh, why did you put Rob out of the temp HP circle? 15 versus AC. 
Oh, wait. Yeah, because I was 15 temp HP. Yeah, that was you. Okay. Uh, so Rom T takes five force damage. Not the best roll. Uh, that would still bring her down. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, you you said it was it was five. Oh, then she actually is still alive. Yeah. Oh. And, I... <laughs> yeah, he rolled uh very low on that blast, so he kind of wings her as uh, she's flying around, and she's like ah. Uh, so the owl familiar goes. Is the owl familiar alive still? He took that cone of cold right in the face. Did he? Oh, yeah, it was I, 60 uh, feet, uh, so he blasted, okay, like, so. way to the back wall. Oh, and he probably isn't alive. If he was, <laughs> it's like the greatest owl I, familiar in history. Uh, Eldwin. Uh, yeah. Alright. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, run up. Make sure we're not super grouped like that again. Gonna go here, so I'm flanking with Uvol. Right. Uh, and I'm going to attack twice, actually three times. Uh, first one, booing Blade from Bolting Bond. All right, so you get in position behind with the booming attack. So D4 plus two yeah. plus four with the flank. Click the wrong thing. Uh, oh yeah, twenty-two would definitely strike him, stabbing right. him with a magical rapier for sixteen. Uh, did you punch him last turn, Uvlal? Is he uh, is he stuck on you again? Yes, I did. Okay. My first punch hit. Alright. Uh, then the next two attacks. I'll oh, just... and I just forgot that was a uh, advantage on that first one because he was uh, distracted, so it was a twenty-eight. Yep. Uh, crit on the second. Nice. Uh, woo, woo. twelve, and hasted action. Yeah, boy. Hey. Okay. Uh, so. so that is uh, 17 would just hit with the flank, uh, and you did another 12. Okay. So, whew, that's, how much is that? 16, 12, 9. A lot of damage. Nine. A On lot the of damage. third attack, he is starting to crack quite a bit as he becomes near death. Okay, anything else? Uh... That is all I can do. Alright, Uvla, you're getting punched. <laughs> 25. Oh, and I've already used my reaction, so uh, I'm, I'm stuck taking it. 22 bludgeoning. Your... Oof. What did you use your reaction on? If on the shield. shield. Would well, 25 uh, would be his shield, regardless. Ah, okay. Because his shield, I think he becomes 25, right? With your shield. I used it on Absorb Elements. Ah. Oh, right, right, yeah. From the, uh, the thing. Uh, Alright, so that is it for Eldwin. Otto. Um, I'll stand up. And I will cast Bane on the Golem. Or attempt to. Okay. Um. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, so that is a wisdom save? That's charisma. I think it's charisma. Oh, okay. How charismatic is this golem? He might not be that charismatic, <laughs> but he is very good against spells. Uh, he is no, no, he oh, has yeah. failed, so he is affected by Bane. Alright. Negative then... five. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Minus... Not good at parties. <laughs> that, is a, that is a zero, my friend. Yikes. And it's I like will... talking to a brick wall with him. <laughs> <laughs> I will use a little Elman bit of dies, movement just right there. to move away. All right, It'll so... take one d four psychic damage. Yeah, and I think. Mm... Yeah, that's all I got. And all right. um, I'll tell Rampty to get out of there on her turn. Uh, Otto's turn is ending, gaining some temp HP. Anvir. I dislike this greatly. Um, the <laughs> seems 
to be doing a great job tanking hits, so I am going to enforce that further by casting <laughs> Shield of Faith. Hey, that one worked! Alright, All right, so... Uh, you're not concentrating anything, but now you are. Okay. And good old uh, bonus action. Spiritual weapon. That concentration was me. Yeah. Uh, so Ooh. you whack him with the five force damage. Uh, okay, anything else? Ooh, actually, hold on. I need to double check something. You die. Ah, Shield of Faith is a bonus section. I couldn't have spiritual weapon. Alright, so he regains five hit points. I... It probably will not work very well on him, but I shall attempt a sacred flame. Alright, he doesn't look too dodgy, so you never know. Yeah, that's why I thought sacred flame. Oh, but 17 I think would make it, right? Yeah. Minus D4. Ooh, oh, minus D4. Pain. Uh, that would fail then. Oh wait, what's the DC of your uh, spell? Okay, so go ahead and roll a d4. You need to beat a 1. It shouldn't be that hard. Right I don't know why it says 0 there. It's 16. Uh, that's, uh, okay, yeah, so that would affect yeah. it. Yeah. Doing how much damage? Ooh, good roll. That's really good. So he cracks a bit. Uh, the golem goes. Uh, end of your turn, you would gain some temp HP. Uh, the golems, things light up again, uh, and one of the runes flashes. Oh, I was going to move as well. Was, uh, oh yeah, go ahead, you can move. I, I was going to go here, because I wasn't risking getting hit by one of those things again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, would this count as casting a spell? No, the he's not actually casting anything, it's like stored powers. Um, okay. So I, so I can't count spell. Got it. Yeah, because he wouldn't be like doing somatic moves for you to know he's doing a spell. Mm -hmm. It's like how you can't counter like a wand of magic missiles. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Oh no, he dies. No, he doesn't die. <laughs> you anyway, he, he his commits unalive. <laughs> You're right, he doesn't die. He commits unalive. Uh, I just need to look something up real quick. I thought I had the information here, but it turns out I do not. One moment. F. There it is. Okay. Done. Sorry. Quiet. Done. Too Done. quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he's about to kill us. Yup. Like, how much am I about to kill them, though? Do I want a TPK? Just one? <laughs> Three being get too much. For my own peace of mind, whose arrow was that? <laughs> That looks like lose. That is lose. <laughs> right. Oh no. So I don't like that it's there, going towards me. There is a flash of light as a symbol suddenly appears in the air. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh. So I need saves from Onyx, Onvir, Otto, and Siegfried versus, uh, I believe it's Wisdom, DC 14. Okay. Well, I am really good at wisdom, so I'm gonna use a. I'm gonna use a uh, an inspiration point here. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna use emboldening bond. 
really wish Oh my god. Whoa. Whoa. Well, it's a good thing you inspirationed. No kidding. <laughs> wish I had. Uh, so... Plus eight as well. Auto, or you roll? I have an inspiration as well. Oh, nice. That's a good call. Nice. Uh, well, actually, well, yeah. All right, so, uh, uh, Anvir and Lupin, you two are charmed and incapacitated, so unfortunately your concentration spell would poof, Anvir. Oh, bye, Shield of Fame. <laughs> uh, that was it for him. Or it, because it probably does not have a gender. Uh... I assume it's genderless. Yeah, it's just a statue. Uh, all right, Uval. So there's a flash, and you see Anvir and uh, Siegfried just kind of standing there, a little bit, a uh, little bit confused. Can I see Otto? Uh yeah, I think you can see Otto. Otto looks fine. Cool. Might be rubbing her eyes a bit. Turn around, point at the ship, and yell, "Spaceship." <laughs> nice. Uh, she just yells and spaceship. Then, <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna punch Mr. Gollum Man. Okay. Or Gollum Thing. Punch. Uh, you would indeed punch him, doing another nine. Because more cracks form him, in him. Uh, and I will punch again and save Otto's thing in case I need to save myself. Ooh. Oh, 12 would back. miss. With uh, Eldwin's flanking? 14 would still miss, yeah. Uh, that sucks. Alright. But so, that's okay. So at the end of your turn, you might want to get some temp yeah. HP because he's coming at you. Right. Would I, can I do that? I'm unconscious. You're not unconscious, you're incapacitated. Is there an action to give them temp HP? I don't I think he decides. But, it's a, it but it is, it's a choice involved, because I can remove Charmed or Frightened. Or so, incapacitated just prevents actions. If it's not an action, you can just do it. Even if you are... Because you're not unconscious, I don't think. It's a thought. Uh, well, here, let me, uh, let me check okay. incapacitated. Until you are incapacitated. Oh, okay. So now you. Mm. Okay. So yeah, that's that's right. That's one of the counters to it. I remember. Okay. So yeah, Twilight would poof out. Uh, sorry, Uvlal, you're getting punched in the face. Or no, you're not. Uh, Onyx. Yes. <laughs> Uvlal's he's going head to head. Fight night. All right. Uh, it seems like perhaps I don't need to hold back spells. Because there may not be a tomorrow. So, I'm going to um, cast... What is even worth it here? Yeah, I'll cast Branding Smite since it's my only bonus action. Okay. And charge in with my glowy rapier. Glowy rapier. Um, 15. Get up here and wail away at it. All right. You attack with your glowy rapier. Uh, yes, 18 would strike. Oh, you know what? I think I had... Oh, no, never mind. I'm good. Uh, yes, 18. Uh, stabbing him for eight. eight as he cracks some more. And then the branding smite also goes off on that. Oh, right. Uh, so that is That's number three. fire damage. Uh, radiant. Three, or radiant. Okay, so he takes another three. And here's the second attack. Oh. Yeah. Why there couldn't I get that on the first one? Bow, 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 bow. Onyx going nuts. Uh, 11 as you stab him again. 
He looks very yep. wounded at this point. All right, that's my turn. Uh, he's gonna try to punch Uvlal. Wow. Oh no, Uvlal! Oh. Uvlal, you are punched for 36. And I assume are very much unconscious. He is muted. I think he is too surprised. He's unconscious in All real right. life. <laughs> I am unconscious and muted. Yep. Uh, that's it yep. for Onyx. Uh, cause yeah, you can't shield from a crit. So, uh, Hassan is dead down Siegfried. Are Did you still prone fight? there? Uh, he did. Yeah, I haven't got up from my seat. Wait. Okay. I had blur cursed, so that gives disadvantage to attack against me. Did you hold the concentration? I believe I did, and my concentration checks. I was able to. I uh, rolled an 18 for that. Yeah, because he took half damage. Uh, how come you're not marked as concentrating? I don't know. I had that set up before. And I thought I only took that one damage. Are you sure you made your concentration check to keep it on? I am. Every time, yeah. Did you just not mark yourself as concentrating or something? I thought I did. Alright, um... Did you do it from off the side? Maybe you didn't have your token selected. Alright, well, sure. Mark yourself as concentrating then, please. Sorry. Just so I know. Right. Uh, but yes, if, with that, side. it would miss you. Uh, so Siegfried, what are you doing? Is there anything I ever can do in Classified? Oh right, you're charmed. you're uh, you're charmed and incapacitated. Uh, sure your blade song would go as well. I don't know if it does. You could check that, but uh, uh, it does. does it? Okay, so then your blade song would go away if you're incapacitated. All right. Uh, so yeah, unless someone wakes you up, you can't really do anything. So you just kind of sit there, Eldwin. It's actually um, round two. She got. Dropped out of the tournament. Oh, because you deleted her. I okay. She said, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Am sure. I able to? Am I able to tell her to try and wake Onvir up? Uh yeah, sure. You can have her go and use her action to do that. Um, she's gonna. In here. Yeah, she can make it in forty. All right. So, so she, yeah, she. She flies she, over she there. Yeah. Using an action to scream in his face. Ah! He's like, what the? <laughs> so yeah. Well, she's, right now, so she's gonna trill in his. Jesus face. Christ! What is going on? <laughs> All right, yeah. So you are knocked from your uh, stupor by Romti's screeches. So you are no longer under the uh, effects. Yeah. Uh, now it would be Eldwin's turn. All right. First one, emboldening bond. Oh, sorry. Uh, before the end of your turn, uh, since this thing is disadvantage on him anyway, it's going to swing at you, Eldwin. Have a punch in the face. <laughs> uh, oh, luckily, disadvantage would miss. Okay, go ahead. Uh, thank you for disadvantage on that. <laughs> yeah, that would have hit me without, but... Alright, uh... So bowling bond, yeah. uh, uh, Ooh. booming bond, one, but so plus one. Uh, all right. Uh. Oh yeah, twenty-five plus two, twenty-seven. <sighs> that would strike for sixteen. It would fall apart, shutting down. Sure, yeah. Alright, the group is safe for now. What do you all want to do? I dislike that thing greatly. Can we sell it? I will shake Siegfried. <laughs> Alright, Sig Siegfried is shaken out of his stupor. Imagine Garlo's just back where we came from, just looking at us like, I told you we could have ignored it. <laughs> yeah, Garlo's like. Uh... That looks, that looks got dangerous. his arms crossed, looking all, all grumpy. 
<laughs> I would uh, run over to Otto and make sure they're okay. Um. Oh, I'm not marked as half health, but he definitely doesn't look like he's uh, in very you good shape. Half health <laughs> needed. Oh no, Otto's okay. Okay. Because um uh, Onyx came over and bandaged me. Yeah. yeah Speaking of which, great. I'm gonna bandage myself. Me, please. Um. Okay, this one will be for Anvir. Greatly appreciate it. Uh, is there Ramti? anyone else that is in Ramti's, danger? Ramti's uh, gonna become visible. And, me, and... but I'm not marked. Like, Ramti's gonna a become wing. become visible and like scream at Onyx. Li limp over to Onyx. <laughs> ah! uh, I don't know that I can heal you, Ramti. Can you not? <laughs> Just bite you. Um, <laughs> I. <laughs> Uh, just want to point out, I am down to my last healer's kit and my last four uses of it, if I'm not mistaken. Hang on, let me look in the bag of holding. Ramti will cross her little arms and, like, <laughs> hiss and, like, walk away. It's Otto not, it's you, not important to me. Otto will give you a healing kit that has nine charges left. Okay. I guess uh, I will walk over to Onyx and volunteer myself to be his patient. <laughs> yeah, Uval looks very wounded. That, that... Yeah, Uval, here. He Take got, this one. He got kind of oh, frozen okay. and kind of punched. He was having Not a bad Not a great day. role for you. Luckily, uh, luckily, he was blurry, so. Eldwin, you want some of this? I will definitely take some of that. <laughs> but... It's like, you tinkers, like, do you oh. two know anything about how these... Also, uh, just FYI, uh, real quick, um, there is a blur token in the Combat Master as well. Oh. So you can mark cool. yourself with that just for Honestly, next time. I forgot to make you I roll the four on some of your attacks after I cast Zane, so I probably might have been able to avoid some of those attacks um, on us as well. Uh, I never. I don't use that spell because I have such a hard time remembering. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. I, I I I forgot to do a bunch of my legendary attacks, so we're all just forgetting he was everything. So tough. I mean, he was distracted that, um, by all that's going on. Yeah. Yeah, that tone of cold was the only time Otto got hit in this fight, but and he was at max HP. <laughs> hey, uh, Otto. Oh, no. took it down. <laughs> Onyx, you want to help our new friend? He's looking a bit like a popsicle. Yeah. Oh, I apologize. I was I miscounted. I actually did have one more healer's kit. Uh, so now I uh, now with that one I have two. Uh, Siegfried, come over here. Let me show you how um, how some some of us do medicine checks, and I'll give him a seventeen hit points. Right. So he he rubs some uh, balms on your cold burns uh, as you are exposed to a pretty nasty cold damage. And you feel much better. Uh, uh, and I will also spend a, a, a first level spell slot to bring Hassan back. Oh, uh, real quick, everyone roll a d20. Oh. We have to. Yes. Oh. Oh. oh, apparently it's going to be on Veer. I dislike I that. <laughs> I, uh, I don't think you stepped do. away from the computer because my dog needed let out. I'm almost there. Well, they're very going to like this or very dislike this. Both. True, why not both? Uh, so you would notice as uh, this creature went down... There was some kind of shield strapped to its back. Ooh. It I looks uh, looks a bit odd. Dibs. I a, Dibs uh, on the shield. Dibs. Nope. I noticed it. I'm looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> My shield. Do we, uh... You need to sit around for a bit to heal Harsin, don't you? One minute. Oh, uh, just one minute? 
brings you back to full health, right? Or brings him back to full health? Oh, uh, um, yeah, brings him back at full health. Did we want to have a try to have a quick short rest here? Because that hurt I would love that. That would be fantastic. And I would also love to look at this spaceship over here. Any, any arguments against having a short rest? Uh, before hmm. we take a short rest, I'm just going to quickly check over the body and make sure that it's not... That they're... See if nothing's mending itself. Self-destruct. Yeah, uh, can I activate Eldritch Sight as well and just look it over? Just in case it, it gives us a It opens up a panel on its arm and starts pressing some buttons and goes, her, 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 her. <laughs> God damn it. Her, 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 her. Uh, there are still two runes glowing on it, but you don't see it repairing itself. Could we extract the runes in some way? How would you do that? I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not the arcane guy. <laughs> With Smith's tools. Uh, so, I mean, you can make an Arcana check, or, uh... uh so what actually, material is this made of? Uh, well, this thing's made of stone. Uh, you can make an Arcana, right. Religion, or Nature check to know I something about the runes. I whip out my Mason's tools. Okay. Uh, I mean, oh, you would yeah, guess... You, <laughs> you would guess, uh, that there's still some kind of enchantment making those runes glow. You don't know what they do. But the golem seems like it's destroyed. It fell uh, to pieces. Or at least fell uh, into gonna, like, two big pieces. And got I'm going to attempt to take some some parts uh, off of this golem with my uh, uh, you with my can, tools. I'm you can, to, like, uh, sorry, real quick. You can also extract essence from it for those with uh, arcana training or um, alchemy. But you said you want to take some parts of it? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can like disassemble this thing, you know, take it apart to see how it works. So it doesn't have innards. Uh, it looks like it was a solid piece of stone that just got enchanted. Uh, so it's more magic than uh, artificer. But uh, huh. as I said, you can try to get the essence off of it. Okay, I'll settle for that then. Okay. And what about the shield that was on its back? Uh, there's that it. too, yeah. Which, um... Oh, Andrea already took it? just grabbed it. He's like, my... I am stolen that. I'm like, ooh. I was gonna ask Eldwin to have a look at it. See if it, he can tell if it's... Or, Otto, have you got your eyes up? Can you yeah, tell me if yeah, it's he activated all this site. Uh, yes, the shield is magical. <clears throat> the ship is and also the magical. Room. The shield, the, the ship, uh, the runes, and the light sources are all magical in this okay. area. Are the light sources removable? Oh yeah, they're just rocks laying on the floor. I will collect those before we leave. Toss are they just on fire all the time? No, uh, continual, flame, continual flame has no heat, but yeah. you can cover it if you don't want uh, it to shine. It's yeah. just light, yeah. It's like a permanent light spell. Alright, so you take the yeah, light okay. sources. Uh, if we're, like, if we're okay with extending our short rest for another 11 minutes, I can cast Identify. Uh, so remember yep. that you cannot cast spells during a short rest, because that's yeah, considered that's strenuous. Yeah, oh, I see. So, so casting it afterwards? Maybe. Or yeah, before. Or before, yeah. I want to look at the spaceship. What is this spaceship? <laughs> oh. All right. Can I get a uh, light source on myself? Because I would have had one. I was already looking at the spaceship. Hang on. Everyone's and, looking at the spaceship. Uh, you have a light sword or light cast on you, right? Yeah, I would have cast light on myself. Okay. My uh, radiant shield, I will make light emitting at this point. All right. As a light source as well. Uh, so am... just mark yourself as having light on you. I'm going to use arcane recovery. Uh, well, we have to pass the short rest first. Uh, during yeah. the short rest, Uvalol is looking at the ship. Give me a perception check. And once the short rest passes, you can spend that. What is the school of magic on the ship? Oh, there is, like, pretty much every school of, of magic is on <laughs> the ship. It's a rainbow! Yeah. Zero. Nice. It's a double <laughs> rainbow. Uh, <laughs> did you get a zero? Isn't that an 18? Yeah, the second row was the zero. <laughs> we oh, okay. 
gotcha. Uh, so you notice something odd around the middle of the ship here. Uh, investigation might tell you more. Uh, this is I'm still during the rest. Let Onyx know. Uh, there seems to be something interesting over here if you'd like to take a look with me. Oh, sure. Um, can I use investigation? Yes, that's what you would have to use. Wow. There were two, no, there were two <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there were <laughs> five total around the ship. Five. Onyx has done three rolls, and the they have all been over time. All his investigations have been pretty impressive. Uh, so, you think there's some kind of latch here? You're not sure what it does exactly. Do you want to unlatch it? Of course I do. Alright, so as you do, the side of the ship opens up. It seems there's an interior. Uh, I'm going in. We're about to do some I'm, spell jammer, aren't we? <laughs> I'm about, or I'm uh, going to yell at the rest of the party. Ooh, like, that, uh, there, there's this might be a safe place to rest inside this ship, or it could they be should... one of the most dangerous places to rest. We don't know. Uh, I'm on the back the wall. I'm, it. <laughs> what, I'm sorry. What did you say, Otto? Perhaps it was safer being inside the ship was safer when it had a golem guarding it. But... The, yes. the Noel, the Noel guy uh, is gonna. He's like, oh, I'm gonna stay out here. I'm not going in there. That looks creepy. Uh, yeah, I'm with you. It Garo, Garo says. He says is that that thing. Yeah. All right, I'm just so, gonna climb it. Uh, so there is okay. actually, if you climb up on top of the ship. Um, Actually, I don't know if you could climb on top of it. You'd have to give me a athletics to climb it because it's not. I thought easy... about trying that during combat, but <laughs> climbing up there, yeah. No, but yeah, let them keep. I'm just playing around. Let them keep investigating. Okay, uh, so inside the ship there are. I fall. A bu- <laughs> ah, I just fall off of it. Uh, in the front there is a cockpit area with like a very thick-looking glass windshield, uh, and a couple of seats. And a lot of buttons and levers. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Give me an Arcana check. I've used all my nat 20s. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently you have not used all your nat 15s. Uh, so this looks like some kind of control room. Uh, in the middle of it, there is a alcove that looks like uh, you would guess what languages do you speak? It looks like there's something written on it. I speak uh, common and gnomish. Uh, you don't recognize the language, but it looks like some Ooh. kind of alcove that you're supposed to put something in. Oh, well, do you do you know this language? Uh, common, Sylvan, the Dolphin? No, it's none of those. Uh, sorry, I... Onyx. I don't recognize. I bet uh, Otto knows or somebody else in the party. Can I'm I follow them in there? Call everyone in one by one. <laughs> yeah, can I follow them in there and just kind of take a look at what they're looking at? Yeah, so you can go up the the ramp that unlatched. Oh, wait a second. No, no, sorry. I apologize. I got my characters mixed up. I can't read anything different than they've already been able to, so I'll stay out. Okay. Okay. Let's let's have a look and see if I can read any of this. Uh, common, elvish, sylvan, undercommon, <laughs> and celestial. <laughs> uh, it is actually written in celestial. Uh, it says uh, power source. No, oh, that one says no. Power source. Uh, <laughs> so if you tell me that, uh, Lou, oh, no. does it look like this opening is of roughly the size of that crystal that we found that I mended? Uh, so that. The cubby hole is bigger than the crystal. The crystal could fit in there. Ah. I see. Well, please do not put the shadowy crystal um, into the ship. It's I, <laughs> by nightmares. If we um, if we want to uh, come back to this later, uh, I, I'm fine with that. But 
I am very curious to see what this thing does. I'm fine with that. Just Later. Don't try Later. and start anything yet. Look, don't uh, touch yet. I think we should yet. all get in <laughs> here. Uh, if you're curious. Yes, I agree. I agree with Otto. Otto is a wise Oh, is Otto one. inside? All right. Yep. Did uh, Siegfried come uh, in as well? No, no he's, he's just, just sat there just, reading his book. He's side for the chat. Okay. Otto's like outside the hatch, just peeking his head around as he listens to them chatter. He's not inside. Oh, I see. Oh, I'm inside. oh is there room? Uh, oh, yeah. The, the, it's, um, oh, okay. I mean, it's You're pretty no. much the size that it is there. Uh, oh, okay. So it's right. fairly wide. Like, it's 10 feet, right, 15, yeah, and even feet. towards the back, it's like 20 feet in some sections. And then the roof is at about 7, between 7 and 10 feet in here. Like okay, the top yeah, of the ship. The door, then. I would be inside since I can actually read the writing. Yeah. Is there uh, any other writing or just that power source? There is, uh, there's actually quite a few areas of the ship. Um, but actually, I guess we are a little bit over, so this might be a good place to end for the evening. Cool. I'll say we can finish the uh, short rest, though. So if you want, spend yeah. your hit dice and uh, anything you need to for the short rest. Uh, if you want to regain powers, yeah, just make sure you spend that. Is there a cargo hold? <laughs> uh, there is actually a bunch of crates in the back. Like stone Ooh, boxes. Uh, quick question, DM. Mm-hmm. So, I know you were saying that you've, like, noticed that you've been doing the short rest mechanics wrong. How will that work with my channel divinity thing? Will that count as well? Uh, I okay. don't, I think, um... Uh, this one. Uh, I think you would have to do that outside of the short rest. So you could do it before or after. Yeah, 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 okay. Is it all good if I say I did that one before, then? Yeah, you could say you did that before you started the short rest, if you want. Yeah, and I'll, I'll try and, uh, keep out for that, for now, uh, to try and fade before. Okay, so we're going to end at about 12 o'clock in the morning. It's midnight about. Uh, why don't we do MVP votes? It is now the 17th. You're all getting very tired. Maybe we should go ahead and turn this into a long rest. Wow. Onyx keeps looking around the ship. Spaceship! <laughs> spaceship. I want to fly uh, the spaceship. Alright, so there... I just want this shield identified. Let's see, Could there's a, a tie between Onyx and Uvlal. So I need d20 rolls from you two. Oh. There's my now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, D D twenty, not D twelve. I'm sorry. I mean, not that it matters, I guess. Yeah, don't be you get the one. <laughs> All right. It would be funny if you rolled a one over. Yeah. Uh, so Uvlal, you are MVP. Woo. Good job. Thank you. Uh, all right. Awesome. Good job, everyone. Uh, and uh, night, yeah, have a good evening. Yeah. See you next time. Thanks, oh. Luke. Uh, yeah, and also, real quick, um, you, if you identify the shield, it is a sentinel shield. Oh! There's two oh. people with that on their wish list, actually yeah. three, but, yeah. Let's yeah. Say, guess oh, who's found cool. it and who's definitely keeping it? Uh, like, you, all can, you, all. <laughs> you all can argue over who gets it next time or during <laughs> the week, but we'll say for now, uh, for now you saw Anvir grab it. Well, I mean... It totally should go to someone like Anvir who's in the front line all the time. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so it do use a shield to be fair. It's not like it gives you extra AC. Yeah. What? Yeah. What does it do again? Uh, advantage, advantage on perception and initiative. And what, ah. the reason I put it on my um, wish list is because then I can start giving out my initiative blessing to everyone else instead of just me all the time. <laughs> Ooh or you can give the like... shield to everyone else and then they'll be able to have... okay, no. <laughs> I like the advantage of perception considering it'll make my passive perception 22 
300. Still worth an auto. Imagine having <laughs> can you can almost compete with auto. Double the range, though. Yeah, imagine what would happen if you gave it to auto. Megala <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. 29. <laughs> <laughs> like I, like I said, just you all can you all can figure out how you want to do no, it. I think it's um it, I think someone else had it on their wish list too, and I don't remember who. Was it Uvlo or I did not. I feel like there was a third. I probably did there. at some point, but I uh, keep tossing mine around. But uh, you know, whoever whoever, whoever it works for best. Nah, he just has a shield plus one on his. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Honestly, I'd rather a shield plus one or two than the Crimsonal Shield myself, just because Otto's um, AC is so I really low. I pain myself, so that's why I was just like, I'll take a Sentinel one. <laughs> Imagine being a 10. I remember I played a bard that only had like 14 at one point. He got hit by everything. That sounds awful. He also <laughs> had a I was hit by one. like two things today and it almost that killed me. <laughs> yeah, nah. I remember we used to joke about that character that he had a heart attack. Mm. Um, because he rolled, he had a negative one wisdom and rolled a one. On a saving throw against fear. <laughs> so it was a zero. You know, I just, I swear I just rolled a zero as well, but. Yeah, you did on that perception before. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Night. Take care. Thanks, Luke. Yeah, no problem. So I'm yeah. just gonna try. I think I'm gonna have to just try and, like, delete all the spells off my list and re add them. Because some of them aren't working, some of them are. Uh, that's not a bad yeah. idea. Yeah. You're brave to uh, work with a lot of macros. Yeah. Yeah, well, that's I'm uh, like gonna seven head out. Macros that come up. It was a pleasure, and uh, thank you, thank you, Lou, for the session. It was fun. Great yeah, to actually with you for once. Right.